Hey, Turtle Club! It is Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means it's time for Free For All Friday. I'm Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming. That's a channel with two streamers on it, myself and my wife, Dig Rap. I stream family-friendly content for the most part throughout the weekend, and Dig Rap streams with tour audience content Skyrim on Sunday. That occurs at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And hey, Charizard X and D-Dub Jr. and Cool Cucumber, welcome to the chat, guys. Thanks for popping in. And today uh, is our Playing with Subscribers game of choice. Uh, hey, Chance, how's it going? Uh, Drew Benson won this Free for All Friday competition with his overall um, tip of $8.28. And so he chose Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, guys. So that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to go and get the, the room set up here. It's a friends-only room. Alienated One, thanks for posting that information in chat there. That's also in the description, guys. The way we do things here at the Turtle Club is we do four mirror mode tracks. And then we take a small break for me to go ahead and accept friend requests. And then we do five random battles. And once again, we take a small break to accept friend requests. And that's the way we do things till about 11 o'clock when we go ahead and do a 200cc race. That 200cc race is usually pretty fun for a lot of people. I uh, just got braces. Oh, cucumber. I uh, I had a, a retainer growing up at one point. I uh, never did the braces, though. My sister and brother both had them. They were not fans. Um, let's see what we got. Let's pull up our stats here so we can kind of get an idea of what we're getting ourselves into. That looks like I would have not even the best of possible times staying on the track. That, though, well, uh, let's go ahead and ride on the... Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll go on the, the teddy bear thing. Hey, Yusuf. Hey, yeah, long time no see, man. Long time no see. And, of course, guys, we do have the public stream room open on our Discord at this point. Uh, exclamation Discord and Nightbot will tell you the information to get into our Discord. Uh, the rules for our Discord are set up in the Discord itself, as well as the chat rules are set up on our YouTube. We give everybody usually about five minutes to hop into this room. Oh, thanks for that alienated one. And, uh, guys, uh, you know, we're just here to have fun. It's it's not about winning or losing. I, I Well, if it was about losing, I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> because I, I was checking out a few things, guys. I'm uh, see, where did it go? Uh, oh, it's actually outside of this menu. Yeah. Wish you had this game on your Switch. Well, no worries, Cucumber. No worries, man. Um, I'm just glad you can come out and see and say hi and all that kind of stuff. We got some trickles coming in here. Hey, Ben Mario, Plush Productions and more. Welcome to chat and opponents. Hey, opponents. <laughs> Digrat says hello, too. <laughs> Kazuto, here to win. Here to win. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Let's make sure we got the, the mix right here, the audio. There we go. Hey, James Baton. Yeah, we got a lot of people popping in. I'm doing good, Cucumber. I'm doing good. Oh, Ben, I'm glad you're back for more fun, man. I, I have a good time with the Turtle Club when we play this game. I actually have a good time with Turtle Club when we play any of them. <laughs> Dig right. He heard you. He heard you. Everybody's waving at Dig right. Hey, opponents. Um, are you excited for a new Smash? Uh, Yusuf, yeah, I am, actually. It looks really, really, you know, vague at the moment. So, I'm excited. Um, I... I like the versus mode on Smash to a point, but what I really like on Smash more than the versus mode is I really like the uh, single player story. It's usually pretty decent. What's, uh, what's, oh, that's the B button. I was trying to figure it out. I thought my chair back just got really big behind me, but no, that's just the, the actual B button indicator. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm really sick. Uh, okay, well, cool beans, Charizard. Uh, do a couple rounds and take a break and be right back. All right, no worries. Well, Cucumber, the way we stream with subs is whoever tips the most for the week. This week was Drew Benson. They get to choose the game. And if they meet or exceed the purchase price for the game and they want that game to be played and I don't own it, I'll go out and buy it that day. That's actually how we got Mario Kart. Uh, one of our subscribers donated um, Undertale. Um, I've not played, but it looks really good. Uh, it looks really good. It's one of those games that's kind of on my back burner. Um, every game um, that's out right now for Switch is is pretty just phenomenal. Pretty phenomenal. All right, so do 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. 
All right, guys. Well, we are here at the five minute mark, which means that we will be starting this up, guys. All right. And do, 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 do. we're going to mirror mode race. No teams, normal items. We always go for easy computer because everybody likes to lap somebody. Um, and fire this up here. <laughs> Kazuto, ready for vengeance. Man, Kazuto, you're uh, you're out of work early, man. You're just ready to go, man. I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that. Oh, yeah. 16 second delay. Yeah, about that. Hey, Sally. Glad to see you in. Hopefully your day's gone a little bit better. Hopefully the gentleman you've been taking care of felt better after a, a good rest. Uh, sorry, Yusuf. Uh, I don't do recaps, man. I, I can't keep track of everybody. You think I'll win? I, uh, I always go with the expectation that it'd be nice to win. Uh, but yeah. Moo Moo Meadows. Hey, we already got a Moo in there. Moo Land is best track. <laughs> oh, there is no cow level unless you're playing a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And then there it is. So we got Kazu 2, Ben, Chance, and James. So guys, get those engines going on those wonderful little 150cc motors. In this case, I got the uh, I got the little bear with the dual exhaust pipe. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, here we go. And I missed my boost apparently. We'll see where this little ATV gets me. I like the ATVs in the game because they're they're not as difficult to control as the bikes. Yeah, but they're not as bad as the cars. This thing does some really weird physics. Huh. I don't know where that banana landed. Might be better off for that. <laughs> well, Pota's, I, I think that might have been James that got that one. First couple hours were rough, but it got better. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear, Sally. I know uh, Dig Rat usually waits for me to emerge from our sleeping area before she says anything to me because I'm not a very pleasant person when I when I wake up. I'm feeling pretty good, Sally. I'm feeling pretty good. So many links. Well, Link is arguably the the best court kart racer in the game. Uh, from stats and from um, hitboxes and stuff. Matt, not going to join tonight. Feeling under the weather. Okay, well, zombie, no worries, man. Billy, uh, you you and I have played enough games. Oh, uh, well, Yusuf, you know, I, I do what I can, man. I, I try what I can. You know, I, I just... I think the, the world's just a better place when people treat everybody else the way they want to be treated. And that includes, like, if I'm on your channel and I would like for you to talk to me, I, I figure that if I'm, you're on my channel, then... I should talk to you. As the race goes, there's a bear. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm a turtle riding a bear in a world full of cows. Sadly, sub through Okami. Well, that's okay, Ponis. Uh, you know, we had a pretty good time playing it, though. We really liked the game. The, the Okami is, it's definitely a really good game for me to play when I get home from work, because it doesn't require much much <laughs> oh oh Kazuto given the Moo Moo hate already first round first track first course first race it's midnight but this is worth it oh well thanks cucumber you must be over in the United Kingdom area we got many viewers over there your dream is to become YouTube okay well um that depends upon what all on YouTube you're wanting to accomplish. Uh, <laughs> do I need to start censoring Moo Gate? <laughs> or Moo Gate? Nah. Nah, it's alright. Alienated one. Oh, and we had someone drop out. Looks like Ben uh, calm aired on us. And he said that earlier. I thought he'd pop back in though, but sometimes you can't be 100% sure. It's spring yet. It's going to snow Sunday. Oh yeah, you, weather is just that. It's uh, whether or not it'll be good, whether or not it'll be bad. You, you can never really count on the weather. 
But uh, I, I remember in Oklahoma, our spring break trip, we were going down to Texas, and it was beautiful outside. And this is, uh, gosh, this is this is before Majora's Mask came out on consoles, guys, so that should tell you how old it is. But um, we were in the middle of the actual highway driving down toward Texas from Oklahoma, and out of nowhere, it starts snowing. And we're like, wow, it's it's snowing in the middle of in the middle of March or April. I can't remember which month it was. But yeah, pre-2001, there you go. There you go. Um, so actually, probably pre-95 even. And we wind up, like, careening off the side of the highway into a, a ditch because the this road condition was really bad. But it was just nuts to think that it was that just overall just bam. Oh. That hurt. That hurt. Come on, Micro Machine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just saw that, but that red shell basically was like, I don't want anything to do with this guy on the on the bear. It like found me and then didn't find me. But yeah, it was, uh, it wasn't this magazine first. I, I noticed it. I, I was, I was shocked. I, I'm surprised I'm in first. Someone tried to blow me up with a bomb at the last second. <laughs> I, uh, I, I do okay sometimes on this. Only if, like, third and second are fighting each other back and forth, though. <laughs> Thanks for the GG's, guys. I, I totally owe that one to Kazuto and Chance fighting it out, I think. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul and Attack on Titan. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul's not too bad. Um, I just can't get into Attack on Titan. I've tried. I really have. We'll fire up Animal Crossing and see where that goes. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good game. Um, oh, already going in. Thanks for all the GGs, guys. <laughs> yeah, Zombie Billy, Nightbot Kata. Um, Alienated One, there is a dub on Hulu, I want to say. Yeah, Hulu's got the dub right now. Yeah, because I was in the same boat, and then it just... The first three episodes just drag on so, so much. And I'm usually a, a kaiju, kaiju movie, you know? Like, big, huge monsters attacking towns and being Godzilla-like. I have no problem with those. Um, Neon Genesis Evangelion was just great. Um, one of the best anime series of my generation. You're running? All right, well, take care, Zombie Billy. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. But yeah, I just, for some reason, I just couldn't get into Attack on Titan. See ya, Steve. Oh. OP bike is OP. You don't care for Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Um, Dragon Ball's good-ish. Um... It just depends. It really depends. Uh, watching the subs was great. Um, watching the dubs, not so much. Yeah, uh, there's there's Goku's personality changes a whole lot when you go from Japanese to English. He turns into a Boy Scout uh, in the English version. In the Japanese version, he's more of a, an anti-hero than a hero, which he gets to be the hero because Vegeta's just way worse than him.
And Nightbot timeout in three, two, one. Yep. <laughs> you can't be posting all caps like that, guys. Nightbot gets offended. But yeah, Dragon Balls, it just depends. Um, you know, we, we watch Dragon Ball. Um, we, we enjoy it. I mean, that's the reason why we made the comment about Mr. Hercule today on, in Okami. Because the main NPC character you follow around for escorts is basically Hercule. He doesn't realize that most of all of his actual heroics are because of the main character. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kazuto's got this wrapped up. Maybe not. Hey, Arturo. Oh, James with the bullet bill finish. Good GG, James. GG. Doo doo doo. Boom. Oh, and I'm still chilling out in second. Nothing wrong with there. You really don't want dubs if there's a Japanese version first due to how it can be changed. Yeah, it just really depends upon us. I mean, like, an Alienated One situation in my situation where we get a chance and opportunity. Eight and fourth. Wow. Wow, that's that's awesome. Um, We don't really have a lot of time to focus on the actual show that we're watching. So since we don't know the language uh, as well, you know, we know a couple words. Or I, I know a couple words. I can't really speak to Alien in the one. But um, I can sort of do it. Um, but not as well as I, you know, if I was younger. Daiho! Hey, Indigo's kid! Prefer anime in Japanese? I guess it sounds better. Uh, it just depends on the anime, Cool Cucumber. Um, Dragon Ball is one I do not watch as often in Japanese. As far as, like, if I'm just going to chill and watch it. Oh yeah, I did. Hey, Diamond Gamer, how's it going? Do, 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 do. Say all the games I got, we don't have the time. <laughs> Yusuf, we have not all the time in the world, man. I have easily over 300 games. That's cool, Charizard. I uh, I would like to learn the Japanese language. I just don't have the mental acuity for it. There you go, Tiny Steve. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Gonna be the very best, like no Link ever was. To save Zelda's my real test. To fight Ganon is my cause. That's about as far as I can actually riff on that song at the moment. Go, Daiho, go! Bye, Daho, bye. Oh. Oh. Rip. Kazuto. I don't think the red shield is going to do it. So, um, yeah, those are recent, recent-ish stream titles. Oh, that was bad. That was me trying to take a shortcut when I knew better. And my second place possibilities went to uh, sixth place dreams at this point. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we we have not played Seven Days to Die in a very long time. Uh, it is unfortunately not a family friendly game. Uh, they added a lot of nudity in the game that you can't turn off on several of the models, sadly. It's a great game. 
it's just not something that we can actually stream on channel anymore. Uh, that too, that too. Fortnite is, is perhaps the better game as far as longevity goes. And oh yeah, GG, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do you know rumors about new Pokemon? There are not really rumors. Uh, we got the news that we were getting it forever ago, and they kind of reconfirmed that we're getting it, Yusuf. That's uh, that's like, is Mr. Mime making a comeback? Ha! <laughs> uh, we can hope, we can hope. We don't know what we're going to go. All right, cool cucumber. Uh, James, thanks for hanging out, guys. All right, so we have finished our actual thing. Pokemon Star. Oh, no, nah, I've, I've, I'm not really following anywhere near that deep. Charizard, if, if it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, Daiho's getting better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daiho's getting really good. Guys, we have no pending friend requests, so we're going to go over here. All right, James. Thanks for joining, man. Uh, James's little me is going to pop out, as well as James from the chat. And we'll go to random battle. Uh, we got... We got five people in here, so we'll go no teams. Normal items, three minutes, no computers. All the vehicles and five rounds. Hey, Bullet Club, how's it going? Thanks for popping in. Yeah, it looks like we might get a comm error. What's going on here? All right, random battle. <laughs> Oh, I'll get you next time. That's that's some like super villain stuff. He his does kind of look like yours, Kazuto. Like he's got the long hair where you used to have long hair. Oh, Bullet Club, thanks for asking. I, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm I'm playing with our subscriber base. I'm playing one of the games that I really enjoy. Um, I'm on my weekend, so life is good. It is doesn't get much better than that. It does not get much better than that. And I don't know who the little red me is, but they have a very apprehensive look on their face. That's that's always interesting with the you know the emotional facial. Uh, Nana, okay, that, that's uh, someone playing with Daiho. Um, I'm trying to remember if that was Daiho's friend or Daiho's sister. Maybe you can play the Kirby Star Allies. Uh, Charizard, there's, I can play all sorts of games, man. It's just a question of what the community wants to see as far as what we actually wind up playing. And, you know, we have to make sure that the channel is, uh, for lack of a better term, that we're solvent, you know. If, oh, Kazuto blew me up. Uh, yep, at 3 a.m. Bullet Club. Mag vs. Wild is our arc stream that we play, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on stream. And we'll see what, what kind of mess we can get into today on our Tappy Jara, Tammy the Tappy, and the <laughs> Misadventures of Mag. Hey, Jordan Bradford, welcome to the chat, man. Always glad to see you in here. Boom, bouncing around. And for those of you Turtle Club members that are in the March Madness bracket right now, Shadow is actually moving up the scoreboard. I, uh, I might be having to pay out double prizes to everybody at this rate. We'll see how that goes. Um, me and Digrat's brackets got pretty bashed this year. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. I guess I need to start blowing people up. I'm, uh, I'm far behind on that. Alright, we'll blow up Daiho. Oh, we got a friend request that just popped in. So we're blowing up chance. Can we explode them all? Can we turn this into a Mario Kart? <laughs> Mag versus explosives equals ooh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, oh, there's chance. We can possibly blow chance up again. Oh, there's. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Where'd that crown go? Oh, I thought that was Kazuto. Too many links, too many links. All right. Do -do -do -do. 
Kaboom, you got it right, Charizard X. Ka and boom. I don't know who this is. Oh, there's Kazuto. I'm missing everybody but Wendy. Missing everybody but Wendy. I've blown up everybody. I got one balloon left. I've got one more person to blow up. Can we get him? Can we get him? Oh, we missed. Turtle, turtle. Hey, Quinn. Hugging the wall seems to be not a bad strat, but we did not blow everybody up. So, uh, point-wise, we did pretty good. Personal goals, we uh, we missed Nina everywhere. So, GG on that. Absolutely, guys. GG. All right. Random mode. Here we go. We got more blue-haired warriors popping in. Uh, Yosef! Read the description for the video, man. That's... Uh, that's the best response I'm going to give you. That's the best response I'm going to give you. We got some set rules on Free For All Friday, and that is that is required to kind of get that information there. Bum, bum. Do, do, do. Balloon battle. Oh, chance. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Charizard, I appreciate the uh appreciate the, the sentiment there, man, but I I nah. Balloon battle's probably my second worst mode in this version. Bomb um, the bomb blast is probably my worst. Frost E tube. Okay. Oh, I thought Nina was going to try to run away again. All right. So so far I've got one point. I don't know where that point came from. Oh, oh. Come on, get all the way. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. I'm not going to question it. That was that was some. Some luck banana dodging skills. Oh, Kazuto. Oh, well, I was trying to hit Chance, but I'll take Kazu. Uh, Majora's Morning Muffin will happen tomorrow morning? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, every Saturday and Sunday morning. Um... But, uh, Turtle Club, that is something to point out. Um, next Friday, there will not be a Freedom Friday. My, my freedoms have to go elsewhere, and there is a good, strong chance that we're not going to have a Friday night stream either. The car is, once again, being eviler than we allow it to be. So next Friday morning, guys, we are absolutely going to be spending the time at the car dealership, like we did in December. Do you have Dragon Ball Xenoverse? Nah, Yosef. Um, I do not, sir. I don't go and buy new games until I finish the the actual games I'm playing. So as long as I'm streaming certain games, you can be rest assured that any new game that you might have just read about, I don't have. I 
I actually got three points here. That was kind of cool. Boom. Ground the car. Oh, I would if I could, opponents. That's partially the problem, though, is the car is just kind of dragging along at times. It's doing that same weird thing where it decides like it wants to run and then not. <laughs> it's not acting up as bad as some of the horses in Breath of the Wild have on me, but it's just, you know, it's getting there. It looks like we had, um, hmm. <laughs> that burn. Oh, not not quite a burn, but it, uh, the blue hair brigades coming in. The blue outfits are starting to overtake everything here. Ah, uh, Yosef. Nah, man. Um, dude, we're we're gonna put you in a timeout, man. You're uh, clearly not understanding the the rules here. We've, we've informed you how we pick games, how we pick streams. We have a schedule. Shine Thief, guys. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if me and the little bear mobile can get there. Um, nope. That ain't going to happen. Oh, go, Daiho, go. He's got it. Oh, and he don't have any more. Frosty's got it. Oh. Oh, Frosty. Let's see here. I figure that's where Frosty's going to be heading. Oh, he feathered out. Okay. Chance got it and feathered away. That's actually a pretty good strat, Chance. That's a real good strat. And now he's going to pop a curve, it looks like. Um, let's see if we can get something that might be able to put him down. Um... I couldn't get to the thing fast enough. Oh well. That's my problem. I can I can eliminate the person with the shine usually. It's just a question of getting the shine afterwards. Oh Kazuto got it with a mushroom and then he lost it. All these Lincoln bikes. Here I am trying to actually get a, a, a prize box at this point. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop anybody with the shine unless I got two prizes keyed up. Oh, 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 not for me, not for me. Not my prize, oh well. Do, 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 do. Double, double. Diamond with the really interesting. Oh. <laughs> that was the most humorous thing for me to pick up with the shine, apparently. That was pretty funny. I, uh... Do, 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 do. Oh, shield's down for, well, kind of close. Uh-oh. Here comes Diamond. Last four seconds. Nope, nope. I know I picked it up, but who knows if I'm actually going to have it or not. We had a, a desync that was just egregious at that point. The game's trying to figure out who actually has the shine. It couldn't figure it out. So it respawns it in the middle. Chance stole the shine, and I hit him right before he ran into it. So that, that actually 
was a, a bad play on my behalf. It gave him a couple seconds of invincibility. Oh, Kazuto, I'm coming for you. Oh, I missed him. I couldn't even hit him with my cart. You know your aim's bad when you can't hit somebody with a go-kart, guys. I think he might have this one, guys. I think Steve is going to... Oh! Last second blitz by Daiho. Oh! It says I got it. 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 Oh! And the red shell says nope. This might go to five minutes, guys. We've had these go five minutes before. Five minutes is where the whole thing just says, no, we can't give it no more. We've had a couple of really, really close, close kind of parts there. Oh, <laughs> oh! just as soon as he had it, it was ripped away from his hands. I think we got chance with two. One. Oh, wait. Five minutes. <laughs> oh, chance. Oh, bad beat story there. Oh, my gosh. That's... <laughs> oh, five minutes, guys. GG. Poor chance. <laughs> it was <laughs> you were so close, man. You were so close. That was. I was like, hey, we're about to crown, though. <laughs> oh, man. Chance, it's always fun to play with you, man, because I, I always feel really good. Always feel really good playing with you. Because the, the bad things that happen to me happen to other people, finally. Your cart has wonky physics? A lot of them do, Diamond. A lot of them do. Do do do. Do do do. Fourth round. Catch the Renegades. And uh, if you're listening out here, Kazuto, I'm on your team. I don't know if I am or not. I always just say that. Where are you at? Ah, pink gold peach. Oh, Charizard X. It's a great game. It is a great game. I, uh... I really thoroughly enjoy everything that this game has to offer. Um, whoa, that was a Roy just kind of chilling by the jail cell. Said he didn't need to be here anymore. Okay. Oh, we are actually on Team Kazuto. That's 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 good for me to know. One to go. Where is that Roy at? Where is that Roy? Oh, oh. we didn't find him fast enough, Team. We did not find Roy fast enough. Rosalina caught somebody. Works for me. We just got to catch one last person. Oh, it was Daiho, and Daiho came in for the clutch. Oh, I caught Daiho and Roy, I think. All right. It was, oh, I almost got a diamond. I almost got myself a diamond. Oh, and he, get this, he got the cage popped. We are we are cracking renegades, guys. But not fast enough. Oh, oh! Stop in the name of the turtle law. I don't know. I, I think I went backwards. I think I went backwards. I can't see anything. I got squitted. Got. Oh, that's unfortunate, Diamond. 
That's the one thing that really makes me just, I don't know. I, I've seen what Nintendo's kind of planning. I mean, it's only going to be 10 bucks a year for their actual paid service, which I, I for one, am okay with. But if they're only paying $10 a year for these servers, it's kind of understanding why we're having so many connection problems. 30 seconds to catch a Daiho and Roy and everything else again. Wait a second. I've never even noticed that, guys. Look at that. That's like a clear little room and stuff. That's pretty cool. No, your Wi-Fi. Oh, that that's even that's that's no bueno. That's no bueno. And GG for the Renegades. You guys took the cake there. And that juggles up the the standing sum. Definitely does Turtle Club. And for all of you that are joining in, my name is Mag Synchro. I'm one of the two streamers on Convertible Turtle Gaming. The other one is, whoops, wrong button, is my wife, Digrat. I stream family friendly on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday mornings. On Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern, she streams mature content. And on Friday evenings at 8 p.m., as you're watching here, we stream a community stream chosen by our top tipper for the week. Uh, that's what we call Free For All Friday, exclamation FFA. We'll tell you the details a little bit more deeper than that. And we uh, we play with our subscribers, and we do that with four mirror mode races. Then we accept friend requests. We do five random battles, and then we accept friend requests. And that's the way it goes till about 11 o'clock at night when we do our 200cc mode and our actual... Oh, what are we on? We're on coin runners, okay. And we also do our sudden death battle mode. see here oh that was that was mean I'm trying to get rid of my coins the easy way I have a bomb with me now it's all fun and games until I blow somebody up huh usually it's myself so all right and Wow, that is a whole lot of fireballs. Oh, I had two, and then I got red shelled. I got a boomerang. Oh, fear the boomerang. You'll be ranged. Wow. That is a heck of a weapon to have loaded up in between boomerang shots. Oh, it's such a cluster of people. Well, hit chance with boomerang. And that's about all we'll be able to pull with chance. All right. Oh, that was weird. I didn't realize people actually looked behind him. That was kind of creepy. That was like Link in Owl mode or something. Someone coming over this way. Maybe, maybe not. Fire flower of death spray! No aiming! Because aiming is for first person shooters, apparently. And I don't even do that well than those. Alright. Am I going to end this with a coin? I'll take a coin. Hey, Slash, how's it going, man? 
I heard your new controller was coming in pretty soon. Uh, other than that, I don't have any guesses. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Hey, I get the good try. <laughs> Applause. Fifth out of sixth place. I did pretty good for myself. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, dum. Good game, guys. That was actually really, really fun. Let's go over in here and accept the friend request that we've had coming up. We got one currently pending from a Raiden. Accepting that friend request. Turns out it comes today, and oh, why is that cool? Your score also resets. Yeah, Diamond. It's, you know, that's another reason why, guys, with the the internet connection that Nintendo has with this particular game series, and everyone else actually having, you know real life internet connection problems uh, it's one reason why we play for fun you know it playing for keeps or playing for like the the glory or whatever you want to call it yeah not really cool and it's so easy to just get scuttled yeah, it really is all right and uh looks like we got kazuto joining us in the chat or at least he's in the voice chat so he can hear what we had, we were saying in real time. Do, 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 do. All right. And hopefully joining soon. That's cool. And we're going to get the start race started, guys. I can hear you now. Way cool. That's yeah, going pretty good, Kazudo. It's going pretty good, man. I'm, uh... Having a great weekend so far. And I'm not at work, so it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, work has just become this avalanche of, well, pardon the phrase, the work. Um, but it's it's busy work. We used to have this system that allowed us to react to alarms. And then do document write-ups on any alarms that are actionable. And now the system is, every alarm is considered to be actionable for right now. Yeah, so it's things that used to take uh, me and Alien in one like 10 seconds to go, yep, it's nothing that we need to worry about. We can get rid of it. Now take us like two to three minutes to do the same thing. And it is it is quite the change. Uh, when you consider that we were processing two to 3,000 alerts every night, it's it's become very difficult to keep on top of it. So it's... You know, so that's one of the reasons why I really like Okami at the moment for the Friday morning slot. Because the game's really kind of not as um, stress-inducing, I guess, as Majora's Mask is. Yeah. Um, Slash, yeah, you're not a supporter of the channel, so that's the reason why it's not working for you. Uh, as per the description of the video and the way it's always been. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, it's it's definitely been a change, and and it doesn't help that the way the system's supposed to work, this new program that they launched, is supposed to be using machine learning to determine which alerts aren't actionable, and to start actually making our job a lot easier and automating some of what we do. Um, but yeah, it's 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 not <laughs> at all. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, it's... Is he in first? <laughs> oh, nonchalantly. Is, is he in first as I throw the... Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> as I throw the blue shell. Um, yeah. Lightning saved you. Well, whoever threw the lightning, you, you are now Hoenn's uh, buddy. Um, Sally, so the automation is supposed to reduce the amount of work we do eventually. But for now, because the machine learning was just really badly implemented, um, it's creating way more work. Usually at the end of my shift, I have nothing on the plate for my department. And by the time the uh, my shift rolls around, 
now, instead of having nothing on my plate, I'm still working on things that came in at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you can barely hear me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure on that one, Slash. Um, if you're having hard times here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, if it's if Discord isn't working, you may have to increase my volume. I mean, you can increase individual people's volumes on Discord. Uh, speaking of that, let me double check. Where's my PC audio on this? Let me increase that to higher than game audio. That way people can hear you a lot better on the stream. But yeah, the... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's better than the alternative. They think that I'm having a one-sided conversation in my head and like talking to myself. So <laughs> it, it becomes one of those uh, whoops. Who are, you, who are you talking to? Yeah. Oh yeah. It, what was really funny is we had a uh, back when we did Skyrim or Skyfall Sunday, Shipwreck Sunday. We had one where Catwater was in with us talking, and we talked for like three hours. And someone popped up, who are you talking with? We we don't hear anyone else's voice but you. And I'm like, I've been talking with Catwater. And I, I realized that her volume wasn't up because the way that we, you know, we balance game volume um, when we're playing PC games. And the only way OBS allows you to do that, that I've been able to find out is not by application, but, but just by everything the computer does. Exactly, exactly. The sound seems fine in the voice chat for you. Well, thank you for checking that, Sally. Really appreciate that. But yeah, so... It, it was one of those things like, oh, wow. So I went back to listen to it later, and it just it seriously sounded like when I... I was one of those people that, unfortunately, just walk around the street talking to themselves. <laughs> Digret calls it the... Uh, who was it? Uh, Jeff Jarrett would always walk down the, the aisle in wrestling and talk to himself. Like, he was he was clearly talking to fans and yelling at them and stuff, but they never had him mic'd going down, so it seriously looked like he was just one of those people with uh, some kind of mental health issue where they just talked to people that weren't there. Hey, it looks like my course got chosen. Sweet. Well, I saw the Grumble Volcano, and I... I, I haven't decided to comment on it because if I don't comment on it, maybe it won't get focused on. But I figure if it's going to wind up having a Rainbow Road come up anyways, might as well be one that I enjoy. Kind of try to stack the bad odds in my favor. But yeah, Okami's really fun. Hey, Nolkin, how's it going, man? Just got a new PFP. I don't know what a PFP is. Um, so... Uh, PSP, I know what that is. It's a uh, an actual PlayStation device that tried to be the Switch and just didn't do it well. Hey, Kazuto, somebody threw something for you. It wasn't me. Of course, I am presuming you're the first place person right now, but kind of hard to tell. Oh, somebody with a star is trying to come up and give me a hug. I really don't want the hug. Oh. That's the that's the corner that always just does really bad for me. Hey, I'm about to get second. Go me. Sweet. Hey, Edward Langloy. I uh, hope I pronounced that correctly. If or Edward uh, Langloy, uh, welcome to the channel. I uh, appreciate you popping in and saying hello. Wow, we just lost a lot of people. GG. Oh, well, thank you, Sally. Thank you. Like, we had a lot of people watching, a lot of people in the Discord voice chat, and they all vanished. That was kind of like, boom. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Ah, let's, let's try the water slide level. The water slide level is pretty cool. Do, 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 do. I like the kind of just laid back music we have here. It's rather nice. Oh, PFP means profile pick. Okay. Well, cool beans, Nolkin. Um, my my window for chat is so itty bitty. I really can't see profile picks that well compared to everything else I got because I got OBS on one monitor. I got Discord, OBS, YouTube, uh, and the YouTube chat, and it's you know it's a lot. <laughs> So I gotta, I gotta, in certain things, only do certain sides. A uh, good thing your main dry bones is back. 
Well, that's cool. Dry Bones is a cool character. Um, Dolkin, doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. I got the night off, so I'm playing with you guys for, you know, until midnight. And then I'm hanging out with Digrat for a few hours. And then I'll be back for some Ark Survival Evolved at 3 a.m. Really excited to see what kind of um, horrible things or surprising things I can get into. Oh, no worries, Kazuto. I, I figured that was probably what was going on. But with everyone else, like, dropping at the exact same time, I was wondering if it was some sort of internet-based connection problem. Oh, I don't even know how I hit you with that green one, Kazuto. That was... That was surprising. The red one, I can tell you how I hit you with that one. Chased you down. Until it blew up, apparently. I see it trying to come after you. There, it finally decided to break on its own. Glad to hear it, Nautican. Glad to hear it, man. Boom. Oh, no worries, Charizard. No worries, man. Uh, Edward, no, man. And first rule of Mod Club is if you ever ask to be a mod, you'll never be a mod. So uh, that's, that should answer any questions you have about it in the future as well. Oh, no worries, man. No need to apologize. We, we just know that most people that ask to be a regulator for a channel that they just show up to and don't have any idea about the community or read the rules or follow um have no interest for the channel at all so and that's that's one of the reasons why we have this rule set up oh we got banana peeled boom Oh, we got sideswiped by a Roy. I think the the prize boxes actually just drift on the the current down here. That's kind of neat. Oh, in the water. In the water. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we got a bullet bill coming up to us. You know, Bullet Bill should become a Tom Torpedo when he gets in the water. Oh, that's all I'm saying, guys. Mario Mario Kart designers from Nintendo make that happen in Mario Kart 9. I don't think that's going to actually hit anybody. Nope. Oh, GG, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm hitting a pretty good solid fifth place right now. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yes, I do, Edward. I play with the Switch Pro Controller, um, mainly because my hands are rather large and they really don't do anything good when it comes to the Joy-Cons, which are itty-bitty in comparison. I mean, um, I actually put away a lot of the controller stuff I got around my desk a bit to, you know, the stretches are out of the way, time to get wrecked again. Ow. I don't know if that's going to happen the way you want it. We'll grab Yoshi Valley because we hate it, and maybe it'll go somewhere else. Do, 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 boom, bling. And we got six out of twelve possible people here for Thwomp Ruins. Sally giving the good lugs to Kazuto. He's got a pretty good... Uh, look at that. Look at that. Dry Bones in the lead.
think I just hit somebody with another green shell. Oh, that's going to cost me. I just got red shelled. He seems awful confident. Well, you know, Kazuto's really good at this game. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, don't get flattened like pancakes like I do. Um... You know, some 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 games were better at, at others. I'm I'm really good at like you know something, <laughs> and <laughs> Mario Kart's not that something. Maybe you need to choose Mimu Meadows. Oh, I could, I could. Oh, rip. Wrecked. Oh, I got the little bitty fan boat thing in the back. I, I like the little fan thing though. But no, just the animations for this game are great. I kind of wish they'd bring Diddy Kong Racing back, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I think they just there's too much clutter in this range of games these days, Con considering the way the markets are. Ha, huh. I knew you was about to slam shut on me, so I went around you that time. Ah, oh. of course me getting the, the midline on these courses always gets me blue shelled. Oh, Kazuto's swagger and confidence. Looks like he's going to get second place, and I'll just drift right across for third. And that uh, looks like the dry bones might have taken it. We'll see what happens. Do, 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 it just, it also depends on what you're trying to do, right? I mean, the, the Pro Controller doesn't have the IR sensor in it. Um, it has a, an issue with the Amiibos. The racer that you drop out time, but it was too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was a uh, Hoenn Kioma uh, that thought he got that there. But yeah, GG guys on the placements on that. And let's, uh, so we're going to go to our friends' codes. We're going to see if we have any friends. Nope, we're going to pull up the profile just for a brief second. And now we're going to go into our five random battles. All right. Oh, so no teams, but battle mode. Random. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No computers. Three minutes. All vehicles. Five rounds. Don't start. All right, Drew. We're not starting yet. We're not starting. <laughs> Drew, welcome, man. Guys. Hashtag for Drew Benson. He's the guy who chose the game tonight. He's the one who won this week's Free For All Friday competition with $8.28 donated or given to the channel as a tip. Um, so absolutely pleasure to see Drew popping in. And we're just waiting for him to come in so we can start this up. Bum 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 And yeah guys, um looking forward to wow we got like all sorts of just blue inside this room now. It's like the blue room. You should be there. Okay. I still have a hard time with people's faces and the me's aren't any better. Uh oh there's Kasaki, okay. Alright. Five rounds, random battle, no teams, no calm. There we go, here we go. It's time for the knockdown drag out that is five random battles. Also known as May the Shine Be With You Always. And of course in battle mode, some courses are better than others. Yeah, I know, Diamond, I know. But I'm, you know, Turtle Club, man. Turtle Club. It's just a green color. 
Of course, and again, you know, Convertible Turtle is uh, Armadillo, so I could be gray. Definitely shared your blue off. The... <laughs> well, it's it's definitely spreading. So Melissa's in here with Katsaki, uh, Diamond, Raiden. Daiho's here solo again. Babom Blast in a storm, no less. I don't think it's always raining out here, is it? Maybe it is, because this is the Luigi's Mansion level. And of all the Nintendo intellectual property games, Luigi's Mansion is uh, probably the one that I really didn't care for the most. Um, <laughs> oh, Indigo, yeah, it, it, there's a good chance, there's a good chance. Doo -doo -doo. Think. There we go. All right. So our, our goal that we have in most of these situations is, at this point, we know we, we winning is one of those things that we'll work on later in life. But for now, we're working on just trying to hit one of everybody that's inside the area. We'll see if that happens or not, Turtle Club. We'll see if that happens or not. We usually can get Chance because Chance has a habit of following us for a while. Oh, Melissa hit us. Alrighty, let's see here. Oh, oh, we got Daiho. Got us again. Oh, let's see here. Maybe, maybe we'll not be able to get what we want to do this time. Oh, oh. Wrecked. Oh, well. All these explosions happening around us. Doo -doo -doo. We just kind of drove into it that time. Oh, uh, we might get Raiden this time? Nope, Raiden was despawning because he had the that animation. Man, this is just some... <laughs> a lot of getting wrecked today, guys. A lot of getting wrecked. All right. I think we're about to despawn again. I there's so many crowns, so many links. Everywhere I look, there's another link. Why is the clones of Hyrule coming for the Mushroom Kingdom's haunted mansion? Oh, and Daiho just despawned. Wow. I might just go hide with my one little balloon and hope for the best at this point. If I could get like one point, maybe? Nope. Alright, we got chance. We've blown up chance. We have one point. We're going to hold on to this one point as long as we can. Hey! <laughs> we was able to finish with one point, so that's good. Diamond with 13 points! The Dry Bones Monster, my gosh. Coming in, GG, man, GG. Got a little dance going on. That was, that was most points are from... <laughs> oh, Drew, thanks, thanks for that. Everyone's teaming on you. Oh, man, it's because you get that crown on your head. I don't think they're teaming on you specifically. I think it's just the the crown. It was it was rough. It was rough. Boom, 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 boom. Never mess with Koopa's dead guys. <laughs> oh, Dry Bones is pretty uh, you know, it's pretty interesting. Do, 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 do. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Lunar Colony Coin Runners. Huh. Steven is playing as Melissa. It's your friend's his birthday. Oh, that's cool, Drew. Well, happy birthday to Steven. Glad you're able to join us, too.
And uh, so so awesome of you earlier, Drew, to, to share your good fortune with us. Really appreciate that. Guys, it was a pretty cool story. Drew was in line for breakfast this morning and actually let a guy go ahead of him. And the dude actually paid for Drew's breakfast. And Drew, uh, while watching the stream, decided to take the money he would have spent on breakfast and gave it to the channel. So he literally, you know, like bought us breakfast this morning, in, in a sense. That was just kind of awesome to pay it forward like that. I really appreciate that, Drew. And then he picks Mario Kart. So the guy who basically bought Drew's breakfast this morning uh, bought Mario Kart for everybody today. Though it was looking like Drew was going to be in the lead before that, but that kind of sealed it, I think. Breakfast of the Drew. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's see here. Boom. Bounce. Bounce. Hey, Mattle Nick. Welcome to the channel, man. Thanks for reading the description and getting things going for you, man. Really appreciate that. We're currently on battle mode. It's battle three. So two more battles and we'll be ready to do friend codes. One of these days, we might just do like five rounds of coin runners for the longest time ever. Just so we can see how many coins we can actually get. Alright, let's see here. I've got these shells. I've, I've got my escape plan if we need it. Mario Kart TV Rexa REXA. Oh, 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 we got Diamond. And we may be gotten desync there. We might have gotten really too ahead of ourselves with the shell throws. Oh, we got hit midair by somebody. I think we got stomped on Di by Diamond. I think we bounced up the diamond and he like hit us like a, uh, well like Mario stomping on a Koopa Troopa. It's kind of funny. The Troopa stomped on Baby Bowser. Do 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 do. All right. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of interesting there, Drew. It was kind of interesting. So we've had the bomb blast. We've had coin runners. We've had you had a shell. Oh, okay. Well. That makes more sense. I actually thought you just like stomped me like a tortoise. It was, it was rather amusing the way it wound up going out there. And five, four, three, two, one. Locked in. Here we go. Where are we playing at? Nobody knows. Oh, thanks, Charizard. Thanks, man. That was that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Just because I got, like, you know, stomped on. So, <laughs> that was just amusing. Here we go. Sweet, sweet kingdom with the balloon battle, which means that the next round is going to be Shine Thief, most likely. And if I don't pick up some points this round, I don't even have a chance of getting first place. Which is one of the reasons why we don't usually play for first, because uh, we, we play for fun, guys. We know that our odds of actually getting first is pretty low. Meanwhile, I feel like I should be, you know, like kind of doing Wreck-It Ralph. I hit Kazuto somehow. It was like just a blind shell, and then I... I hit myself. Hey, Ryan, doing pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. Having a good time playing Super Awesome Mario Kart Deluxe 8. 
or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to be technical about it. Who knows where those shells will land up. I can do it. Oh, thanks, Sally. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Do, 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 do. Oh, I actually hit Kazuto again. My random green shells are just causing a, a muck, apparently. Let's see here. Oh, the crown went away. And the crown came back. Oh. Daiho with the bomb. Oh. Now I'm getting to that. <laughs> I was king for a day. King for a day. And then Daiho got the crown by hitting me. And now I'm just trying to hit Daiho to get the crown back. But I can hit Melissa. Um, Steve, rather. Oh! Drew got me. Sideswiped by a Drew. That sounds like something that you'd see in a... Uh, it sounds like something that happened in Zork, you know, you were eaten by a Gru, but you were sideswiped by a Drew. Oh! Kazuto with the bomb, and I got one balloon left. And, oh, it's Diamond with the balloon. Oh, no. If it wasn't any, if it was anybody but Diamond, I would be, like, hiding, possibly. But I got to... Gotta, I, I gotta try to hunt down Diamond now, right? It's just kind of the way it is. If I have any chance of pulling first in this, I gotta come after the dry, dry dude and hope for the best. Oh, but he got me! He got me! Well... I think he's going to get me, guys. I think there's nothing I can do at this point. GG, guys. I went from 8 to 4. It's the way it happens when you get popped. Oh, 12 balloons, Diamond. Wow. So now, guys, I'm in a situation. If you do the math, and if you care about the math, and I, I don't, but if this is Shine Thief, which... One out of five chance that it is. If I get 20 points out of Shine Thief and no one else gets any other points out of it, I still take second. At least. <laughs> At least I was king, yes. King for a day is better than king never. Um, providing that you, like, you know, abdicate and not get, you know, overthrown. Oh, I forgot about Cops and Robbers. Hey, Mystical. Not much, man. Not much. You missed the Wii. Oh, Ryan, I uh, I kind of miss the Wii, but I kind of don't. I've got the Wii U, and it's pretty much the exact same thing. Except for the, the rumble that happens on the one controller if you're playing on the Pro Controller. This is where I usually hide from people inside the basketball court. Super excited for Smash for Switch. A lot of people are. A lot of people are. Oh, that was me crossing over in a bad situation. Okay, that's not good. We don't have like a whole lot of like gel cell icons. It means that we're. Oh, wait a second. We just got Daiho left? Oh, stop that. Stop that. We just gotta get this baby. There we go. Oh, GG, guys. GG, that was that was pretty good for us. Um, hey. I was on the, the unweighted side, it looks like. So, way cool. That, that deserves a victory toss. Victory toss! <laughs> Yay!
boomerang controller. Only if you throw it up is it a boomerang controller, guys. I beat you. Well, it happens sometimes, Charizard. You know, uh, broken clocks right twice a day. That kind of thing, right? So now we see Shine Thief. I'm at 21 points. Diamond's at 54 points. I think Diamond's got this. I don't think anyone has a chance of beating him. I don't think anyone's close enough to the 54 point range. Here we go. Yeah, we have a chance. It's, it is what it is. Do Raiden with the shine. Boom, boom, boom. So the question is, is it going to be another five-minute shine game? Looks like it might. Looks like it might. Come on down here. I'll be down here for just the sharks. Oh, here we go. Oh, I figured that was going to blow up high. Oh, there we go. Diamond trying to do my hide trick, and uh, it works okay. Oh, oh. Red shell got in the way. Wait. Oh, I thought it was for a second. I had the, the crown for a second. I was like, wait, what? Raiden stole the shine. Oh, wow. Raiden looks like he might be getting this one. Oh. Well, uh, Sergio, read the description, man. Raiden got that shine again. Shine on Raiden. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, well. Good job. <laughs> GG. GG, Raiden. GG. And that's going to put the standings uh, 64 Diamond. Wow. 35 Raiden. That's uh, pretty good standings there for, for those of us. Shine King. Oh, yeah. Charizard. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I did get bronze, which is pretty cool. Oh, Chance, you know, you never know, man. Any given Sunday, any given Sunday. All right, guys, there's the five random battles. So now we are going to go to the next part in the description, as promised, where we go and accept any friends requests that we got coming up here. And that's a Maddie. And... Yeah, Ryan, it happens. It happens, man. Ra yeah, Raiden was was a second place, but it is uh, you know, Diamond was pretty pretty far out there. All right, we got those accepted here, guys. We're going to go to the next mode that we always go to, and that's going to be the mirror race. We're going to put the computers back in. All vehicles, no teams, normal items for races. Let this fire off. May the best racers win, guys, and may the not so best racers have a good time. You're enjoying stream left, right? Uh, what? I I don't know what you said there, Diamond. Um, there's there's a couple words that could be put in place of some of the typos. Uh, usually, I have to defer to the person talking. Um, let's see here. We still haven't gotten Mario uh, Animal Crossing to fire off. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Hyrule Circuit. I got the song stuck in my head now.
I was in first for a little bit, and then a link out of like all the links got in my way. Oh, someone got the secret passage. That's a whole lot of fireballs coming from Diamond. That's okay. Uh, I think Chance just drove backwards for a second. Oh! Oh, wait, I was in first for a second. Okay, that's what happened. I, I, I'm, I'm actually never used to being in that that close to the late in the pack. All right. I'm not used to blue shells coming after me. What kind of world is this where I'm possible to get hit by a blue shell? Strategy is, oh, yes, Chance. I, I, I get that now. I get that now. Ah. Uh, 16 second stream delay. It was a pretty good strategy too. I just wish I would have known about it. And here comes the blue shell again, guys. Oh, oh. Yep, there's a red shell coming after me. I'm gonna get take third. I'll take third for two really bad blue shells. I'll be okay with that. Tried my best to throw a boomerang at it, and it was like, nope. <laughs> Blue Shell's like, I don't care about your boomerang mag. Boom, 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 boom. Animal Crossing. Yoshi. Uh, TikTok. Uh, Rainbow Road. It's almost 9.30 in it, guys. Yep. <laughs> As the night progresses, the, the, the less cute and adorable routes get drop in favor of the more serious business routes. You hope I win, Charizard? Well, thanks for the hopes, man. I, uh, I just hope I win the way I like to win, which is just having a good time. The real winners are the people at the end of the race. They know that they had a really good time doing what they love to do. That's really what it boils out to, Turtle Club. That's really what it boils out to. If you gotta have that gold trophy to make sure you feel good, then, uh, then by all means, I hope you get it at some point today. But if not, that's cool too. That's that's cool too. Strategy strategy. Oh, lightning bolts! Oh no! Oh, ran off! Oh, diamond! Being reckless! Being reckless! Ruthless, reckless, anything that's less. Well, this will find somebody. I'm in fourth place. There's plenty of people in the hood of me that'll hit. Maybe. Oh, no. 
I didn't get the little fist pump of awesome, so I didn't hit anybody important. I hit like a NPC shell or something. Hey, Nolkin, welcome back, man. Uh, looks like I'm going to take 5th. We'll take 5th. We have no problem with 5th place. We'll take 6th even if it happened. Any placement 1 through 12, we're good with, guys. Boom. And there we go. GG, guys. Did bad, old Charizard. You know, it's it's one of those things, man. I'm again, guys. It's you know, people are like, man, I did horrible. I didn't do good. I didn't get the race I wanted. I didn't get the course I wanted. My controller died in the middle of it. The other guy got really good lucky drops. You know, it's a game. <laughs> These things happen. We we understand this is the way the world works sometimes. But yeah. Do 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 tick tock clock. I uh I have a love hate relationship with this stage. This stage looks really awesome from like a steampunk kind of gears and cogs and all sorts of cool stuff, you know. But um from just a I like to race it kind of stance. Not so much. There's lots of things that I wind up hitting poorly, like this big, huge floating gong. Um, that big, huge floating gong. Mainly big, huge floating gongs. Posts. Ramps that I don't hit at the right spot. That kind of thing. But I do have, like, you know, shells I can throw at people. And I do like the uh, thing here. The little small boost you can get at the end. Ah. Sometimes I can make that, sometimes I can't. We're a flying plant! Fish can fly, squirrels can fly. Why not plants? Oh, Drew tried to do what I failed to do earlier. Oh, I missed everybody. Not surprising. Oh, somebody hit the, uh, oh, somebody hit the blue shell. All right. <laughs> oh, I hit the gong. Yay. here guys fourth place gg for me gg for me I, I i feel pretty good getting fourth on that course especially with maddie wow maddie was just smoking down there diamond and kazuto it's uh quite the race we've had guys quite the race we've had course is going by pretty quick bum, 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 bum. this is the last one i'm pretty certain and it's still all those blue outfits guys I'm the holdout. No blue here. No blue here.
Oh, I didn't want to do that. I think it was the other button I needed, the X button for talk. Pardon me guys, I had a yawn in there. Uh, Yoshi Valley, another course that I really, it's really great in the fact that there's like 19 different paths. It's really horrible that they're like 19 different paths. My favorite food, um, wow, I really, really enjoy a different variety of sushis, um, depending upon where we go to eat and stuff. Uh, different places have different actual really good specialties for as far as that wonderful seaweed rice and protein concoction. This is the, like the course where if I just don't choose the right path, I just wind up losing. We almost missed just a random raid. Oh, here we go. Someone can put on the brakes and rewind. Kaboom! I still have no clue where I'm at on this course. I think I just actually went around in circles. Up oh, and off the edge I go. My strategy is just use items as soon as I come across them and hope for the best. And avoid the rolling egg of Indiana Jones' death. Woohoo! And ramps. All the ramps. I really don't know if this actual course path here is good or not. It just feels fun, so... Uh-oh, there's an inkling with a blue shell. Oh, there's a ghost somewhere ahead of me, too. Chance getting ghosty with it. That looks like I might. Oh, 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 Drew! <laughs> that was some good bumper to bumper there, man. GG, guys. GG. I think. That puts us at the four races. Um, I I don't. I uh, welcome to the Turtle Club, James, Jameson. Uh, I don't know what you're asking for in that question. Do 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 do. And there you go. You're going to go eat and eat. All right. Well, cool. Kazuto, thanks for playing, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, no friends requests, guys. But we're now going to the five random battle modes. Bum, bum, bum. So here we go, guys. Battle mode popping up. Random battle. No teams. Normal items. Three minutes. No computers. All vehicles. Five rounds. For my most fit mini games, oh Charizard, mini games are you know we like breaking up with the mini games, kind of alternating. Not everybody's a good racer like me, not everybody's a good battle player like me, um, and I mean like I fit the criterion of not being a good racer and not being a good battle player, but we have a good time. We have a good time. 
All right, so we're gonna go random on our course selection because there is some strategy that you could implement for certain modes if you knew what the mode was going to be first. However, since we do random, the stage is picked first and then the mode selected. There's not a way to know ahead of time. Drybone's trick animations are pretty insulting, especially when you are right behind him and he tricks in a buy trick animation. <laughs> Most of the trick animations are kind of insulting um, because of the way they are. I mean, they're they're meant to they're meant to be like, ha ha, I beat you. None of them is like really rude. I mean, it's a Nintendo game, and they're really uh, pretty low key on that. Bombs, bombs everywhere. And I'm just going to go away from the explosions and, and try to gather up all the bombs I can get. And then hope that I can blow some people up with them, maybe. Oh, that's got to be Chance. Oh, Raiden, okay. I'm surprised there's not like a backflip animation. There should be. Oh, there it is. I just wasn't doing it at the right spot then. Oh, Drew got me. Oh, we tried to long bomb it. Hey, Pennington, how's it going, man? Thanks for popping in the chat today, man. Just playing some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Drew picked the game this week. And he said, it's been a bit since we played some Mario Kart, so let's fire that bad boy up. And I was like, I have no problem with that. Let's see what we got going here. Hey, Princessa, how's it going? And let's see. Oh, Raiden's shot was better than my shot. Diamond shot was better than my shot, but I was invincible. Oh, it is fun, Pennington. It is one of those games that I, I recommend um, maybe not buying um, unless you really like it. I know, uh, like, uh, Redbox supposedly just started doing Switch rentals, so you, now you can rent a Switch game at the Redbox and decide if you want it now. So that's kind of cool. I'm doing good, Princessa. Thanks for asking. I'm, I'm on my weekend. I don't have to go to work tonight. Life is doing great at the moment. Raiden hit me. Oh, I got one balloon left and 15 seconds to protect it. I think I need to do my best to run away from everybody that has any kind of balloons on their head. Oh, there we go, there we go. Four, that's pretty good. We'll take the four. Do, 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 do. And of course, guys, with this being free for all Friday, about 10 o'clock ish, we do a brief intermission for, you know, health reasons, get up, stretch your legs, use facilities, and all that. And that's coming up after this battle mode. But other than that, we do always four mirror races, and then we take stuff, and then we do five random battle modes, and then we take stuff, as in getting our friend requests in order so we can go ahead and play with more people. Do do. Do 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 do. Well, Charizard, I never said you weren't. I just said that some people are and some people aren't.
Do, do, do. That's always raining here. Always raining here. Alvin Zapata Martinez. Hey, how's it going? And for those of you guys that are coming into the stream at this hour, my name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. That's the stream channel with my wife and myself. My wife named Digrat. She does mature content Sunday nights at 7 p.m. for Skyrim Sunday. Watch the misadventures of Fred and Digrat then. I'm doing good, Alvin. Thank you for asking, sir. I hope you're doing good as well. Um, other than that, I do some family-friendly content at all hours of the day and we do a community stream which we're doing right now at seven o'clock or not seven um, eight o'clock eastern standard time on fridays and uh we do a number of other streams we're actually working on getting everything set up for the scheduling system guys so it'll be a little bit better uh gamer lx no nah, man <laughs> sorry dude i my memory is just a couple of stages better than a ducks and if I, I don't get to talk to you all the time and there's a good chance that I will forget um, there's people that I actually spent lots of time up in high school and I don't even I can't even tell you their names and those are people that I like ate lunch with like all the time so don't feel too bad it's it's not anything personal it's just the way my brain works One thing I dislike about the Bomb Blast versus Balloon Battle is it is. You have not been on YouTube a long time. Okay. Um, it's just not a name I recognize, man. Sorry about that. If you've not... Oh, you've not been on YouTube lately in a long time. You mean like you've been off for a while. Uh, I understand how that goes, man. It's uh, like real life kind of happens, right? Three shells, point blank range, totally missed chance. Alvin, that's in the description for the video, sir. And uh, as is all the rules for the channel as well. Oh, Diamond hit me before I could actually boost at him, and now he's coming back after me. That, that was that was some actual fireballs with a vengeance. Hey, Stephen Ferguson, thanks for popping up the join code there. Thanks for reading the information out of the description or being familiar with how we work things. Oh, Ferguson, yeah, man, you've been here a while, dude. Thanks for popping in and saying hi on that. Oh, like I sideswept a dude. I, I think I think my <laughs> we finish in the abyss. Wow. That's that's great. That's great. <laughs> that's that's pretty good indication of how my day's been going as far as the game goes. But I'm having fun, guys. I'm having a blast. And guys, look at that. The Turtle Club is at 2258 since we started at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've gained three subscribers. Way cool. Way cool. And that was currently uh, Battle 2. Have I ever played Pokemon? Oh, Charizard X. If only you knew, sir. I have played a lot of Pokemon. I have played Pokemon... Well, Pokemon everything, basically. My, my Game Boy with all my game... My Game Boy case with all my games is way out of the way. But right now, um, in my, my Game Boy is Pokemon Sun. Yeah, Alvin, I figured that, man. Uh, for me, it's 9.48. Oh, gamer, is that a.m. or p.m.? Because it's right now it's uh, 9.48 p.m. for me, where I'm at. Well, Posh, that's awesome, man. If you have the choice between being in Florida for spring break or watching the streams, go to Florida, dude. <laughs> get some sun. Get some uh, Epcot. Get some of that Orlando Universal Studios stuff going on. Or whatever you're going to do out in Florida. I know there's a, there's actually a really cool Magic the Gathering player that lives out in Florida that I uh, 
would go frequent his shop if I went down there, to be honest. So I, uh, yeah, man, choice between Florida or this, Florida kind of takes the cake. All right, and this is Coin Runners, okay. I'm like, wait a second. Do you, oh, oh, gotta try to drive one-handed. It ain't working well. But I didn't get attacked by anybody. Thanks, Digrat. Really appreciate that. Oh, we kind of sideswiped Chance. Staying where you are right now. New home. Or oh, now home. Okay. Well, that's cool. Going to be going to Universal and renting a villa. We get to spend most of your time with your grandparents. Oh, that's even better, Posh. I mean, grandparents are where it's at sometimes, man. They, uh, they know just the right kind of stuff to give you. Oh, oh, knocked that crown right off my head. All those coins in the ground. Pick them up like loose pocket change, maybe. Get to spend Easter with him. Oh, that's awesome, Posh. April Fool's Day is going to be the same day as a Easter. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Chance. No worries, man. I, I, I get that, dude. Trust me. Oh, I had a bomb to protect me. I blew somebody up with it, but it didn't tell me who. Drew with the crown. Well, let's see if we can help that. See a chance. Princessa, I, uh, if I had to guess what it would cost for a villa in Orlando, it would not be, it'd be not something that I would want to spend money on. That's, that's why I think Posh's grandparents are pretty cool. Um, hotel cost down there in the Universal area is, is pretty rough. Alrighty. Well, um, we were at one point talking about doing a, a Disney vacation weekend kind of thing with Thor and Loki's parents and my, my brother and his, you know, his wife. And for like a two day Disney vacation, two days, <laughs> we were looking at close to like 250 USD per person per night. So, like, for two people to stay at, go to Disney Park and stay at a hotel nearby that would be close enough to the park to where you could actually, you know, come in and do that. Um, oh, that's cool, Posh. But, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like uh, for me and Digrat to spend two days in Disney, we were looking at, like, 2000 or, like, $1,000. My brother was looking at, like, $2,500 for him and his kids and everything. And we're like, that's just that's just a lot. Your mom's a dentist. Interesting. I, I bet that's an interesting household to be in. Because um, like my my father, he worked for an oil refinery, so everything was very pro big oil, right? And so uh, I can only guess, you know, what other parents kind of do that. Yeah, it was uh, not uh, an inexpensive vacation to plan. Um, and we just kind of decided that we'd rather spend the money on, like, Christmas gifts and stuff. Like, we know the memories would be kind of cool, but for, for what it was, um, 
with the kids being the age they were as, as well. We didn't think they would actually benefit from it. Diamond's got it. I, I got real close to it. I'm mad he stole it. <laughs> the silence of the mags. Yeah, I uh, I was getting really close to getting the shine and winning, and then lo and behold, I think I just desynced the the shine away. I think that was you know the small bit of invincibility. I think just got that. GG guys. Sorry it kind of went out the way it did. We'll be here, Charizard. And Turtle Club, I gotta show you how awesome this pizza is um, for two reasons. One, this is a stuffed crust bacon cheese pizza. I mean, that's cheese bacon. It's, it's really good on the first hand, right? But then, if you look at it where it's kind of, it, it almost looks like it's scorched, but it's not. It's because it's actually just bacon goodies all over it. Uh, cup of the day, unfortunately not, Princess. Uh, tonight is brought to us by this wonderful white fluid in a can. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, Princess, it's all bacon. that has been like made crispy and chewy and it's, it's delicious. I, I think it was uh, DiGiorno was the brand. Um, <laughs> it was DiGiorno according to Digrat, so it, it's really delicious. Oh, dodge to the law. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta see the cup of the day. Sorry, Posh, no cup of the day today, man. Uh, there probably will be one at ARC. Um, but we'll see what happens then. I don't think I've got a good hiding spot here at, like, at all. Which means I'm actually like kind of have to dodge everything. Oh! I was trying to follow the shy guy. I guess they just randomly checked their six, right? See if we can actually outwit these NPCs and the players that are alongside them. Uh, my money is on probably not, but you never know. Oh, I was the last person, and I just got ganged up on a lot of people. But GG, guys, that was actually pretty good. Looks like I took third place. Oh, wow. I'm happy with that. And here we go. Alvin playing 170 hours or more. That's going to be quite the treat, guys. We are now taking a five-minute station identification break. Uh, that's where I do some other things real quick, stretch my legs, and uh, we'll be back, guys. So hang tin, hang chat, hang still, hang everything. Um, we're going to hang the blanket on the chair so you guys can at least see the cool blanket. And we'll be here, guys, in about five.
the blanket of magnificence. Oh, Kazuto, I love it. I love it, man. Yeah, right, guys. So, choice between picking up the controller and eating some more pizza. One second, guys. And it looks like Kazudu is back with us. How's it going, man? Uh, just got myself some ramen. I'm good to go. Oh, ramen's good stuff, man. Which flavor you grab? Uh, beef. Beef's pretty good. I, I, it's been a long time since I've had it. My, my favorite is the shrimp, because you can actually see the little bit of shrimp inside of it. For some reason, it just kind of makes me go, oh, cool. Yeah, shrimp's pretty good. My, my all-time favorite is cup ramen. Well, that's you know that's kind of the way I was about it too. There was cup ramen, some pretty good stuff. It's really practical. Love the price point on it. And where I work, they got those you know coffee stations that have the hot water spigot. So if you just fill the water just a little bit above the noodles, not all the way up to the actual line like they suggest, it usually has some like nice firm kind of chewiness to it still. Yeah. But uh, you just recently went to like uh, a Japanese steakhouse, if I remember right, didn't you? I, I did. Um, I couldn't remember if that was this like this week or last week. But there's actually uh, in Oklahoma City. There's one called Tokyo, and it was actually pretty good. Me and Digret enjoyed it. But it was a it was a sushi house. It was called Tokyo Sushi, but it still did a lot of really good oh. traditional foods. That's awesome. I I really recommend trying some kind of curry if you ever get the opportunity, and if you can get a donbrae bowl it's like a katsudon or yakodon they'll you know usually they'll have the protein in japanese at the beginning and don at the end those are really good too it's a um, fried rice with the protein typically uh, it's uh, like a chicken fried steak kind of cutlet with whatever it is the fried food and then they actually crack an egg put it on top of the rice after scrambling the egg and kind of let that marinate with the actual meat juices to make the gravy in it. And they they actually let it steam cook the egg because they put the the bowl that they put this all in, they put a lid over it to trap all the heat in it. It's really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've got pizza in front of me. It's like making my mouth water a little bit thinking about it too. But baking pizza is making my mouth water too, so it's kind of, you know, hit or miss on both. I was disappointed though because I went on Sunday, okay? Mm -hmm. On Sundays they don't serve bento boxes and I've never had a bento box, so I'm not to try it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was disappointing because they don't serve bento boxes as well. I'm well, disappointed. Yeah, and bento box is kind of, you know, it's other than the fact it's all just compartmentalized, it's pretty much like a. the equivalent of like a fast food combo meal almost. Oh, I forgot to put PC players in this. Whoops. I was like, there's like nobody here. <laughs> like, I was like, it seems too easy. <laughs> I, was, I was like driving along going, man, this is kind of different. And then <laughs> that's what happened. You know, I was like firing up the race while eating. So I guess it's part of it. Um, but I was like, wow, wait a second. They just ended the race and I was in fourth place. What gives? Oh, <laughs> I was in last place. Fourth place and last place can be the same thing when there's only four people. <laughs> Three, two, five, and one. These are some nice numbers. Yeah, well, you know, the, you get the points based upon the number of people in the race, so <laughs> we're, we're going to be like, first place is going to have 20 points if they get first on every race.
Uh, I don't know. This this course I don't play as much. Like people don't like cheap cheap beach. Is what I notice. It's kind of like really. But yeah. So really appreciate the uh, the code you gave, man, for the Xbox version of Fortnite Save the World. Oh, did you uh, ever use it yet? Oh yeah, I used it. Uh, I'm level three or five. I can't remember which. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I started recording um, the tutorial mode, and I'm kind of going through and getting that set up, kind of like how I did the boot camp originally. I, I'm revisiting it and trying to help uh, cleaning up what it is because uh, apparently if we do get Fortnite in March like they said we'll get for Save the World it's going to drop like the 31st at this rate, like the Saturday when the season ends or something yeah I'm hoping I can get, I'm still in the early tutorial stages though I, I'm, I'm up to where I get to do the, uh, the van mission with Lars, yeah how do you like, uh I yeah I am when I play on PC it's mouse and keyboard I <sighs> I've played with controller before this and it was not my cup of tea I don't like the lack of precision with the right thumbstick when building that's my biggest complaint yeah, um, I can actually see that there you know building does seem like it's a bit harder with the controllers and you know you have to use your know, left hand and right stick and stuff and now you have to pick the points to mm -hmm. highlight and not highlight mm -hmm. them. It takes a tad longer. It does, it does. And that's and it's not, you know, a horrible uh, system. I mean I understand why they gotta do what they gotta do with what they have. Um, but it's just I would have to really focus on it to get as good um, on console as I am on PC. Yep. Fourth place finish again. Bam. Drew is just killing me. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even notice I was in first. <laughs> oh, double tie for first right now. Um, I'm, you know, dead last. If I actually get third place, though, I could almost catch up to Drew. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it does take some diff getting used to. I do have a new gun that I really like, though, um, on my main game. I The Dragon Shotgun that they have right now. Oh, the I think it's called the Blunderbuster? Yeah, I think that might be it. Um, I was... Yeah, I was actually... Yeah, I was playing on Digrat's account to try to get some of the stuff for the holiday because she's just not had time for it. And that shotgun spreads five or six mini grenades when it shoots. It, I think it's just fireworks, but they're very powerful. Well, they are very powerful. You can actually shoot them over uh, terrain, and they lob. And they, when they explode on the ground, they do actual fire damage. So, I mean, it's, it's just gross. I mean, it's, it's really good if you're wading through like a whole entire track of people. I like it the most when um, you have like a huge board of them, because then mm -hmm. it really comes in handy. Oh yeah. But when you're trying to actually like just shoot a singular one, it's like, okay, this is really Oh, so yeah. Well, you have to be right in their face, and that's the one thing that I'm just not really good with with shotguns, and Digrat's really good with. She is, she's generally a melee character. I mean, she that's definitely something you can pick up on easily in Skyrim. She's not an archery kind of person. She's not a, a sit in the back and aim and wait for things to die. She's get up there and wait through it and chop them all down. So the shotgun makes a whole lot of sense because it's the closest thing to like an exploding sword you get in the game. You just point, squeeze the trigger, and watch things fall over. And I can see why, you know, she enjoys that method. Now, she's actually got her character set up for it, too. The character she's got is Headhunter Raider. And they have two perks. One is they heal when they do damage with their shotgun. And they also, when they kill something with a shotgun, they get a speed boost for a few seconds. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually really, really good. Um, and then on top of that, her secondary ability she's got is a firewall 
which they recently retooled. It used to be just people take damage when they hit you and your shield's up. But now it's they take damage and they take knockback. So when she's basically meleeing through stuff, you know, wading through and all that, it, uh... Oh, I got a red shell coming at me. That's, that's you that did that. I can almost bet. I'll take the second place, though. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. I, I was like, oh, wait a second, wait a second. I'm trying to take that inside corner, we'll, we'll, we'll stop. Still still last place, it looks like. <laughs> so, it's kind of funny. I take second, and I'm still like in last place somehow. I can't remember if we got Bumble Bumble. I don't think it's happened at all on stream yet. Today. Oh, there you go, Animal Crossing. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just starting Plankerton though. So. Mhm. Mm I've been growing crazy on my Stonewood base. I've invested <laughs> so much metal. And then I find out that there's more than one Storm Shield base. Yep. And I'm like, ah. Uh -huh. And Plankerton so will introduce new mission types too. <laughs> so I'm I'm sitting here just you know wondering so how much time and metal have I invested into this base? Mm -hmm. Another storm shield mm -hmm. defense console. Oh, there's there's <laughs> four storm shields in total, one per every zone. And every storm shield, every storm shield though has ten levels though. So keep that in mind too. You'll have to keep improving. You'll still have to go back to improve upon your Stonewood one to keep advancing it as well. Um, what's really horrible, I'm sure you notice, is the the Plankerton Storm Shield is just not in a good spot at all. <laughs> There's that. Oh, okay. Have you zoned into it yet? Um, I've already beaten the main quest, so I can do Storm Shield defense. Mm -hmm. Right. Understood. Yeah, the, uh, so there's this giant cliff right on the, the, the rear side of your storm shield. Just like there is in, in uh, Stonewood, right? But because yeah. the actual main base of the game isn't behind you in Plankerton, there's actually pus that will spawn on that cliff. Oh, yeah, it, it is. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. Gotta have to... Absolutely, absolutely. That's one of the reasons why I started with a uh, an Outlander character, started playing one of them, because they're really good about gathering materials, depending upon the Outlanders. Because they get the, uh, you know, the, the llama they can drop, and in their actual skill tree, they get the supply drop for the uh, gadget. And so it just, yeah, just pop in there after I've done a couple of missions, get the supply drop goodies, go through your build on the base. And it kind of helps, you know. Yeah, I should start using, um, what you call them, the constructors. I yeah. Really start using those more. Well, if you, especially if you're just kind of going to go, um, oh, I got the nice try claps. Four people, I took fourth place. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth place, first fun. It's the way it works, guys. All right, we're going to... But yeah, if you're going to just go in and kind of tool on your base a bit, just pop in as a constructor because you get that discount, that 10% building discount. Yeah, I've been doing my ninja the whole time, so I've been doing it full price. <laughs> yeah. quite the work. It, it, well, yeah, you know, it's like every 10 pieces you drop, you get a, a free piece when you're doing the constructor, or every nine you drop, rather. And or every upgrade you do, those upgrades get costly really fast. Yeah. When you think about That's it, when you're doing the level threes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so no com, three minutes, random battles. This is the way it's supposed to be. Um, all right, so we'll fire this up. Boom. Whenever you have time, I'll have to show you actually if you're able to hop on Xbox with me. Yeah, yeah, we, we might be able to do that sometime in the the weekend. 
I'll have to see how everything goes. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I got to get to the point to where I can actually droop up. All right, we'll be here, Drew. No worries, man. <coughs> Me, Kazuto, and I think that that's Diamond still with us. Three, yeah, three person shine thief in Dragon Palace. <laughs> Where did Drew and Indigo and everybody go? Um, well, you know, it's kind of early ish, late ish for Indigo and them. Drew said he just had to hop out for a second, so we'll see what happens. He just said that in chat. I hope everybody didn't leave just because I left for a bit. Oh, no, I don't think so at all. Stop coming after the shine. Stop dodging the fireballs. Stop taking my stuff. Oh well. I guess I didn't say please. Oh, that was close. That was very close. I saw that from the back. That was that was just unfortunate on my side of things. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> GG, Kazudo. GG, man. Oh, that's that's wow. With with three <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was good. Well, yeah. A mom blast is very interesting when it's just like a couple people. Yeah, it, it definitely is, and it's bomb blast and balloon battle is both. Yeah. With with as little people as we have, and that's one of the reasons why, like two streams ago, we started doing teams when we had like four or less people with NPC players, and that's. I think we had a couple people going, well, why are we doing teams? I'm like, well, it's just more more entertaining when we have a, a low count of people in the stream. like kind of hit and run tactics at this point, right? Yeah. Pop somebody with a bomb, run away for a while, get some more bombs, hope for the best. Ah. Ugh. I'm just hitting diamonds, just bombs, basically. How do you throw behind you? Princess, so you hold in the trigger, and then you push back, and you let go of the trigger. So hold the trigger, push back, and then hold, let go of the trigger, you just toss it behind you a bit. It's actually a pretty good tactic if you uh, suspect someone's behind you. I almost threw that over two lanes and, and blew you up with that one. That was pretty good. Oh, rip. I got to protect my two points now. My three points. I don't even want to know what you guys are scoring at this point. My four points. I dethroned 
Kazuto. <laughs> oh. Oh, mid-air hit. Knocked me from five down to two balloons. GG, man. Last second victory right there. Oh. Oh, how how scoring was that? Four points separating the... Oh, wow. And there we go. Looks like we might have a an actual AFK Kazuto. Oh, and I'm a I'm a cop. Uh Rip. This is going to be rough. I don't think I could actually do this with like six real people, let alone six computers. Oh! Oh, diamond! Alright, we got Diamond, Kazudo. We just gotta find these other three. Other two. Oh no, Tanuki Mario. Don't do things like that. Oh, and it was the one I was guarding too. Oh, and it had Diamond in it. Alright, Cat Peach got Diamond. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no worries. It's the Purdue game. I'm, I'm sure Digrat's watching Purdue. Um, I think Purdue's still in Digrat's bracket. No, she's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's right. She's watching the Duke Syracuse game right now, is what she's saying. All right. Purdue starts in about eight, five minutes, though. So, yeah, that's okay. No worries about that, uh, Vulcan. We, we totally get that. So we just got to catch Dr. Peach, Rosalina, whoever that is. Hey, Bullet Club, welcome back, man. Baby Rosalina, been caught, and now we just got to catch this Lenny. Is that Lenny over here? Oh, that's Lenny right there. Just got to catch him. Oh, no. Ah, oh, I caught Lenny, <laughs> or Lemmy. I just didn't catch anybody else. Oh, Toadette, stop! In the name of the law. Oh, Diamond with the boost right across. Nothing I could have done about it. Do 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 do. Oh, Diamond with another boost. Alright, we got Diamond back, but I don't think we got anybody else. I think Diamond just basically saved everybody. Koopa Troopa. Alright. We got 10. K 
Can we catch him? Oh, we got him. Andrew Kuba. Welcome to the Turtle Club, man. Appreciate you joining today. Oh, we got close, guys. GG. Diamond the Machine with nine jail safe breaks. Oh, very much GG, man. You were just possessed, Diamond. Fourth round. One more to go. And it's time for Coin Runners. All those coins stacked. It's banker's hours right there, guys. Is it just me, or do the coins on this stage kind of look like the Animal Crossing coin emblem on, uh, or maybe the moon coins off of Odyssey? I think they might be moon coins, like, maybe not. I was going back and forth with the crown, but now it's not. I stopped. Oh, boomerang from Kazudo. Do you own a console? Uh, exclamation consoles bullet, and you'll see all the consoles that I own. get close we might not oh we didn't Take uh, 11 points. 11 points is fine. Compared to Kazuto's 26, it's like nothing. Oh, Bullet Club. I think that's tonight, isn't it? Like, March 23rd is the next TLC update, I thought. Oh, we don't want to leave the group. What was I doing? Hopping on a little after 11. Okay, well, Drew, we're going to be doing our 200cc race uh, on that particular spot there. Let's see. TLC 2 update. The 
grid. And it we're going to mute that. All because that's... Alright, let's see here. They're going for information on the date. Yeah, no, no clue on the date, guys. PC out today. PC got it. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Final round balloon battle. We'll see what happens. Oh, no worries, Kazadu. Hits Bullet Club with a two sweet. Haha. <laughs> yeah, the, the new Dino update's gonna be good. But yeah, 200 CC will be coming up. And yeah, the TLC update, I'm looking forward to it. My, uh, I'll be so grinding experience on today's stream, guys. Trying to get to that level 62 sweet spot so we can get the Argentavia saddle. And then we'll just tame us an RG out in the, uh... Argentavius look like they're... Whoa, we're way too clustered over here. Oh. As evidenced by the fact I just got blown up by a slow-moving bomb. My guy's just gonna dance a little. That's actually being caused by the left thumbstick, guys. The way I'm kind of, like, shaking my thing. Do, 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 do. Leaning into the spins in the corners. Boom, bam. Oh. Oh, there goes Damon for that straight shot of awesome. Ha! Eat the banana shield. They're good for you. High in potassium banana shields. Oh. And I don't know what bombs are high in, but I keep eating those too, so... <laughs> Maybe those aren't as good for me as I think they are. See you, Casado. Love playing Ark on PS4. You stream it every time you play it. That's cool. Like, yeah, the new Rex, a lot of the new stuff is getting changed. A lot, a lot of the new stuff is getting changed, mainly so it gets lower poly counts. Because they're starting to realize that they really need a lot of optimizations. GG guys, I actually picked up a crown, 30 people, third place, crown, I, I work with that. And we got a new friend request from Nicholas. We're about to do our mirror mode race, and then we will be doing our 200cc race, guys. Because the mirror mode race set should take us to 11 o'clock. And then it's time for Ricky Bobby time. Get these computer players in here this time. All vehicles, four races, no teams, normal items, 200... Oh, wait. Mirror race, not 150 cc. We'll start the race. Yes. And here we go, guys. Oh, 
All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can um, get Baby Cart. Baby Park. Baby Park is going to be one of those Recaruni ones. Hey, Kazuda, welcome back, man. Hi. So you picked up the new Sword Art Online game, right? Uh, Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, yes, I did. Is it... How is it? <sighs> Honestly? Mm -hmm. A little disappointing. And keep I'm in mind... Kazuto is a huge Sword Art Online fan of the series, so temper that with what you will. So it, it's probably not all that good at all then, I would guess. Because you at least get to be in the world you love, right? Right. And not the... the... Yeah. I still like it. The problem is I think they should have done better with, like, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, okay. I, I guess, like, what they could have done is they still need to do some things with it. But it looks like it was rushed, good. possibly. I think it kind of was rushed. Like, um, I think they could have done better with, like, the photon sword, for example. But, you know, I'm oh, right, on. right. But, um, it just... There's a lot of things that you have to do. Well, it's a JRPG kind of game, though, right? So it's kind of grindy. Well, hey, yeah, Zylan. But the photon for when you use it, it's mm -hmm. just it's horrible. Okay. Um, it's actually really bad. And I can but I can agree with the fact that you got like, you know, grind and then get the... Right. Yeah. Like so. I don't know. You know, Kirito didn't double jump in the actual anime. I mean, he did have dual wielding, but that was a secret super hidden skill that no one else had. Like, he unlocked it and didn't tell people about it until it became super important. So, I mean, that's because he put, like, all those points in offense. So, I could kind of see why you have to grind a lot to get there. But, yeah, so I, I get what you're saying. Um, it looked like it'd be all right, but usually if a game is kind of depending on its intellectual property right to push them along... I tend to be very, very wary on how good it would be. And, I, and that's probably the reason why Alien anyone didn't pick it up either. Um, you're my typical gamer, which there's nothing wrong with that, of course. <laughs> well, Xyla and I, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll fit typical. I'm, I'm usually not typical anywhere else, but sure. No grumble. Come on, Mimu Meadows. <laughs> no. There we go. Uh, yuck. I mean, I just started the game though. I haven't really been playing it much because of Fortnite and stuff. So I've been mm -hmm. trying to get the last thing I need to get to get one of the legendary heroes for the event. Yeah. So, is there a particular one you're looking at? I think I'm looking at the. Or there's the there's the Goku that's the soldier, Son Goku, and then there's the Irish Outlander who is Southie the Reclaimer, and then there is um, the Cupid Sarah Ninja, and I think that I think the Cupid Sarah is the throwing star focused one. I can't remember for certain. But yeah, I... I... Oh no, completing the event? Oh, that's the one you're talking about. Yeah, that... Though, those are all the same. Um, 
they are the Berserker Soldier, which used to be a Christmas-only hero. And then they gender-swap-skinned it with the Wildcat, which uh, one's got the traditional Celtic warrior armor. One's got this weird, like, dragon armor kind of looking thing. And then the other one is... Uh, uh, what I call the St. Patrick's Day uh, Parade. All right, take care, Zion. Thanks for popping in, man. Really appreciate it. I did see something cool on Reddit the other day. The guy was posting his actual LAN party. And it was like, you know, LAN party these days just mean everybody shows up with computers or consoles and stuff and we'll play in the same room. We don't really set up a, a local area network in many cases. But all their screens actually had Save the World on them. They're like, we're playing Fortnite, and I was like, yeah, yeah, save the world, Fortnite, there we go. <laughs> I was like, take the upvote, and I'll, I'll even say, wow, it's just, it's it's awesome to see save the world instead of, you know, Battle Royale. Yeah, Not, I yeah. You know, it, there's nothing really bad about the game for its genre, it's just I don't care for the genre. Did I actually, I did, whoever is the Donkey Kong player, I think it's an NPC, I actually red-shelled them mid-jump. <laughs> like they fell in the lava. It's kind of fun. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome to see Save the World. Yeah, I'm hoping to get the before Yeah. Totally understood. I just ran out of Founders Rewards off of the, uh, the $100, $150 tier that I had. Just ran out of them. I was like, "Oh, that's kind of sad. I'll miss my founders' rewards." Oh yeah. We don't... Oh, those are limited. Oh, uh, the founders' one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's pretty sad. No. Yeah, when you sign in for your your daily rewards, you you're getting two per day because you're a founder. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah. Uh, Mags F. Hey, nice name, man. But yeah, once once the uh, once you run out, you'll run out of it. Alex Burks, welcome to the Turtle Club, man. That that makes me cry now. Oh, yeah, it's 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 one of the things you get for you know paying into it early though. Is you get that nice little boost there. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's, I I run out of it there, but I still I got seven I get seven days on the Xbox account because of the code you gave me. Oh yep yep. I was like, I get seven more days of, like, uh, pinatas and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Here's Baby Park. This is going to get nuts. Oh, man. That's, that's... Turner CC is just gross on Baby Park because you really don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I drifted it into him. What's funny is because I'm actually in second, I have an idea of who the first was. You got hit by a green shell, yeah. Oh, oh! I always oh, hate. I, yes, I did. I did. <laughs> it's really good protection from people like mushrooming right into you, though. And now I've been like beat all the way down to third place. Oh, you, 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 you guys can have it. Uh, I'll take the place I'm in right now. Oh, it's about too soon. Here's a potassium bomb. I'm, I'm just drifting way too wide now at this point. I don't think I actually take this place. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I maybe I take third or second or first. I took first. Did you first? I did. <laughs> I mushroom drifted right past both of you guys. Uh, okay, way well, cool, Drew. Well, thanks, man. Really appreciate you hanging out with us today, dude. And picking, picking the game. Um, super awesome, too. Heading back to home and catching the last 30 minutes. Well, the 200cc will be firing off in about uh, however fast it takes for us to get these last two races finished. Um, what have we not played? We got Animal Crossing, right? 
I don't remember if we did or not. I remember picking a lot. I know we've done that uh, Rainbow Road. I picked it earlier so the game would possibly like avoid it later. No, stop thinking that way. <laughs> okay, that's not that's not that bad. I'm like, I just said Rainbow Road, and you went ooh, and I'm like, oh gosh, here comes Space Station Rainbow Road. Well, there's the Galaxy Express Rainbow Road. No, it's not too bad. Uh, that one's actually, I like the music for it, and it's it's got some really decent drift lines, so I'm all right with it. I like how it makes your vehicle look. It makes you look so shiny. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Meanwhile, I'm actually this. Um, why am I placing first? Because I just finished the last race in first dub hack. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I'm not used to being like this far. Something's not right. I'm not seeing tailpipes. <laughs> but yeah, meanwhile, I'm like, you know, the, uh, the stitched bear. Oh, over the edge I go. So I don't get to shine. It actually dulls the shininess. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny though, because it, it just, it's actually kind of cool if you think about it, because it shows just how much thought they put into it, that the cloth material that the spike's made out of doesn't reflect anything. I bet you if we, if we looked at, yeah, I bet you if we looked at the graphics engine they do for these games, they're, they're very underutilized for what they built. That, that's, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that though, right? I mean, the Switch, while a great console for Nintendo especially, it's nowhere on the power scale, right? I mean, it does, it does pretty good docked, it does decent when it's undocked, it, the games are great, but it's not too many steps above like a, a Game Boy for the, what's underneath the hood, really. Yeah, and I, I saw the demo. They're like, there's a demo on it. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let's go pull this up and see what it looks like. And I was like, okay, there's two problems right away. Um, problem numero uno is that they removed all the idle animation from the dinosaurs. Like, if you want to, like, if you watch the demo and you watch it for a little bit, you're like, what's wrong with this? What, what's going on? And then it dawns on you, oh, that's what's wrong. All the dinosaurs are standing perfectly still until the player gets on them and moves with them. So like the raptor, when he preen his his, uh, his scales and his feathers, he doesn't do that. The parasaur that wanders around and gets in everybody's way, it doesn't do that. I mean, it's, it's like, wow. Like, if you're going to tame them, they move around, but they don't do their idle stuff. Which makes me kind of nervous a bit. Oh, yeah, wow. And I've watched... <clears throat> that was it. <laughs> I didn't realize we were done with the race already. <laughs> wow. So we're going to go ahead and accept any friend requests that we've had pop in. And guys, it is now time for the 200cc race. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Wait, wait, what are those? What are those? Those are the other cars? I'm going to die. <laughs> oh... This will be fun. I, I'll see how... I've been driving with this same little bear this whole entire stream today, so we'll see the difference between the two. But yeah, so Ark looked... It looks beautiful, you know, as much as it can with the way they've kind of dropped it down. Um, but you never know. Oh, wow. So we've gone right back to the Galaxy Express. Rainbow Road. There we go. All right, Sunshine's not too bad. Second time we've done that. I always like starting it off with Sunshine. It's such a great course. It is a good course. It's it's good forwards and backwards. It's really fun. Um, a lot of the courses are great no matter which way you take them. So. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the music on this one though too. Yeah, I I, I could see that. Um, it doesn't. It, oh. It's. Oh, yep. Someone's wanting some attention. Oh. Yep. Yep, we sure do. Yeah. Brakes, brakes important. As in, break my cart, break my tires, break the steering wheel. Break my second place into seventh. But yeah. 
So, uh, so Ark does make me go, all right, it's cool. That means that there is some hope for Fortnite. Um, Wild Card at least realizes that there is like no survival crafting games other than Minecraft on the Switch. There's like one other survival crafting game that I saw, but it's it's really bad reviews. Like, Ark with all of its bugs and problems will probably outdo this thing. It's, you know. But, uh, you know, it, again, though, it's not really a game that I'm wanting to purchase because I already own it. So I'm like, why would I? Unless they do some sort of, like, cross-platform thing, but with the way they've done their server code, that's not going to happen. Um, there's actually a, a hosting company that I've been looking at for hosting a, a PC server for the Turtle Club. And it sounds like a really good thing and all that. I just don't know if we'd get a lot of play on it. But, number one, number two, the, the channel would have to do... Uh, we'd, we'd have to wait for the summer months, you know, where we actually get a lot more visibility on some stuff to be able to support it. But the, uh... Mm-hmm. Well, especially if you got Fortnite, right? Because if you want to do survival crafting, Fortnite will absolutely scratch that itch for you. And you don't have to, And it's nowhere near as time-consuming as Ark. Right, you jump in, you play 20 minutes, you're done, and if you have, like, chores or homework or uh, responsibilities or a TV show or anything else come up, right, then you're good. Um, worst case scenario, if you want to do your dailies on Fortnite, uh, you, you can knock out all three dailies in an hour of play. So if you're playing, you know, a 20-minute mission every day, then once you get past your third day, you're usually knocking out a daily every time you do a mission because of the way you just kind of roll it through. I'm nasty. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You got your first pick, so now you're like, let's make my next pick really evil. <laughs> That's two out of two. Two out of two, man. Have I considered playing Friday the 13th? Uh, Mags, we are a family-friendly channel, um, so Friday the 13th is out the window, man. Um, I've watched it. I've heard everybody say the horrible things. It requires voice chat for it to really work. And because of that, we really can't put it on channel. Uh, I've seen some streamers play it. It looks kind of fun. There's a game that's very similar called Deceit uh, that we had streamed before we made a channel change to family friendly. And when we did go family friendly, we had to delete all the Deceit streams because of when you can't trust the people on stream um, to just say stuff, yeah. Oh, no worries, Mags. No worries, man. Um, it, you know, it's it's it looks like a good game. It looks like a fun game. The tactical portion of it, of being Jason, is actually pretty good. Um, it's really well done now that they've got over all the growing pains on the game. Uh, but yeah, not something we really could get away with on the channel. Oh, over into the lava we go. Right, and but yeah, so there, there's a lot of really cool stuff that we can stream though. Oh, you can really think that lightning bolt, Kazudo. I I had a blue shell. I was about to fire it off too. And ramp, ramp, fly. Come on, flap in the wind, Bowser. Where we at? All right. Oh, Bullet Bill, right where we was flying. Into the lava we go again. 200 CC, more than Mag can handle usually, but we like to play it because you guys like to play it. This time we got a blue shell coming for somebody. I doubt it's going to be any pivotal shell though. With as far back as we are and as far ahead as everybody else is, yeah, it's going to hit Diamond just after he crosses the finish line. We'll take seventh. We're okay with seventh on this course. Boom. Boom, 
Oh, thanks for the GG, Princessa. And we're going to go for Excite Bike. Oh, we were. Is this a stream where you mentioned some... Um... I, I, Diamond Gamer, I'm not sure <laughs> what you're saying there, man. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but the seat's kind of like Friday the 13th mags, but it's a six player game instead of what Friday the 13th has. And there's two people that are the evil people and four people which are the, the innocent people. And it's one of those room escape games. This Rainbow Road on 200. Yeah, yeah, I, I picked Mimu Meadows, but it backfired. I would have had, I would have rather have that, honestly. Yeah, that's kind of be coming, coming from me. <laughs> this one is just hard to navigate. Um, no matter what, I cannot see this really at all. Even if I do, it's so hard. Oh, breaking is, yeah. I, I still go off. Yeah, it's it's just it's got some some Rooney stuff going on. There are a couple of shortcuts where you can jump the track and land going the opposite direction and be okay, but there ain't many. Like if you take the the high road here, oh, well I, I say here, but you can actually jump off the track, like right where I'm about to jump, and then land down and still be okay. So that's kind of like a shortcut you can take. Um, if you're looking for shortcuts, if you hit the ramps, you just basically go off the edge. Unless you're doing one of those really sick anti drifts. Yeah, I, I, I actually have to let off the gas and brake. It's just that rough, and I still don't get it. <laughs> but it's still a fun course. I mean, it's beautifully done. Um, the space Station vibe is really cool. I know why a lot of people like it, because a lot of people that are really good at the game uh, can enjoy everything while they're racing through it. I was forgetting uh, that, um, trip yep. Much bigger than you expected. Exactly. And then there's the, uh... Yeah, and then there's this little hub, the second hub you go into has no, like, rails on the wall. So I, I have to take the inside corner on it. If I take the outside corner, it's just death. Yeah, I'm in 11th place. I'm actually doing better than the last NPC player. <laughs> Was. And now, wow. 12th place, here we go. Let's do this. Boost, boost, boom. I got Wait, cool. So I'm, I'm, you know how my memory like doesn't let me hold on to everything, right? <laughs> Were you the Turtle Club member that has not played a Smash Brothers game yet? Yeah. I was just trying to remember. I'm not trying to call you out on that specifically, um, but no, I was I just. Plenty of videos on them, but I've just never had the chance to actually pick one up. It's actually, uh, if they do Link the way they've usually done Link, he's actually pretty cool. Um, one of my favorite things with him is he's got Hook Shot as a, a throw move. You hit the, you hit, go towards somebody with the throw button, and he'll actually send the Hook Shot to him, and then you can actually grab them and bring them to you. So one of the tactics you can do with Link is you can Hook Shot somebody. Well, you put the bomb down, Hook Shot them into the bomb, stab them a couple times, grab them again, throw them upwards, do a couple of upward sword strikes, then jump up and then do down strike, and you can usually knock off about 80% of somebody's hit points with it. Um, That's awesome. He, he's definitely a, a really good all-rounder character. He's usually the one that I play a lot. Uh, if you really want to annoy people, though, you can't get better than Jigglypuff. <laughs> Jigglypuff has the seeing ability from Pokemon. Yep. And it'll put everybody to sleep nearby. 
Wait, are you serious? Yep. Yep, that you actually, so if you are in, it's pretty OP. If you jump in the middle of, like, three people going at it as Jigglypuff, you're only, I mean, you, you can do any other attack, right? But your only really good sound strategy is to hit the sing ability. And she'll actually start singing as she falls down and put them all asleep. And then you can basically pick one person who is going to get the really bad brunt of what you're about to do. It, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's actually Alienated One's favorite character in Smash. Um, he, he just does not like fighting games in general, but he will go into the game with the whole intent to troll everybody else, particularly Puff. And it's a valid strategy. I've done it many times. Um, I actually had a, a younger cousin when the N64 came out. Jigglypuff was one of the characters in that one. And all he would do, all my little younger cousin uh, would do, would just pop the down B. And it would be Jigglypuff singing, putting us to sleep. And then hoping he had some like disgusting item in his inventory, which is carried the whole entire time. And smack somebody with it. It's really effective. Oh, you're right. Uh, fighting for first. I'm fighting for fourth, and I, uh, I won the fight for fourth. Unfortunately, I was fighting for fourth after I got knocked out of third, so... <laughs> yep. And there is the 200cc races out of the way, and done. And I did pretty decent. I get sixth. I'm okay with this. Oh man, guys, 2,260 Turtle Club members, way cool. Always keeping that in the foreground of my mind because tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. of course is another buffet from Majora's Morning Muffin where we take the new subscribers we have. This is going to be interesting. Random battle, no teams, normal items, one minute, no computers, yeah. sudden death, and I think we could go... Wow, 15 rounds would be usually what we do on the clock. Huh. With it being this few people, I think we're going to actually go for teams in easy calm. And just uh, see how I'll crazy accept, this gets. I'll accept teams. You'll accept teams? I, yeah. I'd like, to be so, I'd like to be solo and, you know, <laughs> go after the blood, blood myself. But, you know, I'll, I'll take a team. Well, you know... um. Well, here, here we go, Kazudo. Me and Diamond will be on one side. You can be on the other side. Oh, no. <laughs> so you can be as solo as you want. <laughs> I will do my best. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get some actual NPCs with you, right? I mean, five NPCs will jump in with you. And they are just one-minute rounds, so... <laughs> now, what's really cool is Shine Thief... Um, Shine Thief now 30 seconds spread across your team. I know, I don't even know why I was going to ask if you were on my team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. What's well, going to be funny is when we get to Renegades, I'll probably still tell you that I'm on your team. <laughs> because... Yeah, there's no one me, I'll probably fall for it again. All right. All right, team. Let's do it. It's Babom Blast on teams. Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I know you don't appreciate it. That's why I'm going to stay away from you. What's, what's really funny, though, right, with teams, the map is so crowded, I really can't tell exactly where you're at. So, uh, I kind of have to luck into you and hope that my bomb hits you and yours doesn't hit me. Even with, like, 12 people in here, and we get to see everybody's bomb score because the team shares the scores, it's still a really low-scoring game. I hit Lakutu! Oh, that Kazutu carry, man. I bet you... <laughs> What, what's your score on that one? Five? Oh my gosh. Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's seriously the Kazuto carried eight points for the team and five of them by, by Kazuto. That's that's good, man. Oh. 
And the only way that I get the crown tonight's stream, guys, take a look at it. I have the crown <laughs> on team mode. <laughs> Thanks for letting me have a crown with you, Diamond. I really appreciate it. Oh, Shine Thief, this is going to get nutty. <laughs> and I have more points than both of you. That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, I see it. It looks beautiful. That's cool, Princess. I had your first ramen bowl today. Those are instincts you just can't turn off, right? No. <laughs> I got that soul. Well, you could bomb your villager friend. We would. We wouldn't matter. You know, we would. We'd be okay with that. You could knock him out of the bomb and or out of the shine. They don't do it on impact. You on my screen. You hit the wall. I'm playing bodyguard for Bowser over here. Oh. Oh, Diamond got it, actually. We both went to sideswipe it, though. Well, I was, I was stalking you the whole time, waiting for you to knock out a diamond, <laughs> and then I just mushroomed after it and took it and ran off. Oh, you're like in my frustration. Oh yeah, it just, I, I, I know how it feels though, man. I do. It was, it was, I was like, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Cops and Robbers, it's going to be, like, really difficult if you get Renegades for us. Because, be yeah, it's if you're... Gotta be, it's got to let me be a Renegade. If I'm a cop, <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm honestly screwed. <laughs> Let's just be real. Diamond says the only way to get the crown is to be a team on his side. <laughs> I, I can't argue with that logic at the moment yet. Well, it's two real players against one, so I mean... Hey, I'm this is true. Solo. This is true. And you did want to go solo, so we, we we gave you what you asked for. <clears throat> now this is going to be interesting because coin runners can be really swingy with NPCs running around. Well. Yeah. Side swipe by my own partner. And see what I mean? And we're still tied eight for eight right now. Oh, now we're nine for eight. Yeah. yeah see, this is a very swingy game. Oh, no, I got hit. And one well placed bomb can. Oh yeah. Now it's like five to six. I mean, it's just back and forth. There we go. Keep going, oh, no. Seven to five. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 45 to 15, you're climbing up, man. <laughs> Slowly climbing up. What's going to be really interesting is when we, you know, it's 15 rounds, so we got two more Shine Thieves coming up. 
And each of those are 30 points apiece, so 60 point difference oh. that way. There we go. Oh, here we go. Renegades. Let's see what happens. Please be, please be a renegade. You have to be like, game, you are gone. You, you have to be nice to me. <laughs> you, you must be nice to me. Uh, yes! There you go. <laughs> Run away. Run away, Kazudo. Run away. Yeah, I don't know if I really win or not, but I have a better chance anyway, at least. You, all you have to do is run around for a minute and not get caught. I need a good defense for what I need. You need a good defense and a hiding spot. Unfortunately, one of those things is not really that good when I'm on the other side. Because I, yeah, I tend to know where all the hiding spots are. Can I even get to the second hiding spot in time? That's the question, right? What would be really funny is if in the, the next 10 seconds you got up to the top of that range and you're just waiting for me up there. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> GG on that, Kazudo. GG, man. Oh, I forgot it gives us... Wait. Yeah, lots of points. That's 20. Yeah, it's doubled because we're on teams instead of singles. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> so we have... <laughs> yeah, you're like, let's go. <laughs> no more let's crowns go. for you guys. <laughs> we're all tied. It's all tied up for teams. Loom battle. This is anybody's game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The blood's getting real. Alright, team. You do good. I'm just gonna solo as I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dip my team, you know, kind of solo. Okay, the team just did. You know, just do that Ginzo play that you do so well. <laughs> You guys do whatever you're going to do to protect the, the zone. I'm going to go ahead and run up this wall over here and, and just lob stuff through this window. I'm sitting over here, like, fortifying the basketball court. Oh, Villager got me. I'm, like, putting balloon, uh, bananas at the entrances. Ah. Oh, tie. tie game. Nice. <laughs> this is getting really good. <laughs> it's halftime. Well, welcome back, Vulcan. How's the score going? Random, 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 random. Uh, I don't like the mob blasts on this map, honestly. Who are you rooting for, Vulcan? Is, is Purdue losing or is Syracuse losing? Oh. Texas Tech, okay. Is Texas Tech winning right now? <laughs> um, Purdue's losing. Well, that's, that's, yeah, Purdue's losing by five points. That is, that is rough. I actually don't mind this, oh, this map. Stop those blue bomb people. Ah. Oh. 
after I Bowser, I come for you. Me and Diamond are like farming this Dry Bowser. It's really bad for the blue team right now. And all we're doing is we're circle drifting, and as we pass by him, we're like throwing a bomb at him. I know. I was like, oh, oh, let's go get close. Four point difference. Match. 60 to 56 it's still anybody's game we are like one renegade in in like a shine thief away from still being close i mean it's it's, it's crazy but purdue purdue losing is bad for me because i got them in my bracket too my poor bracket that's just gotten beat up <laughs> Ooh, shine thief. everybody but artificial straws korok korok leaves brackets like yeah, he had two brackets in this thing, and he still got. Well, his east and midwest brackets are good. His his uh, south and west brackets are looking kind of bad now. Shine thief. Oh, Kazudo, we gotta we gotta stop this. No, no, I'm pretty sure I do. I, I, I went and looked in the in the, the book and said, "Yeah, Kazuto needs to get shot by some green shells." Where are you at, hero with the sword that seals the darkness? I'm coming for you. That's some, that's some pretty gnarly desync, man. It, it happens. I saw that one that time. It is the way the game works, unfortunately. Ah, I got hit. I couldn't like do the same bodyguard thing I did last time. He was right on you too, man. He was right on you. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at those amazing. <laughs> GG. 26 point game. It's still anybody's game, though. <laughs> oh, man. That's true. If you guys win a cop and robbers, you can tie with me right now. Or, no, you'd be. Be six points under. I mean, it's, it's, it's there. Oh. Oh yeah, a nice tasty crown. That was oh, looks pretty good. Oh, coin runners, all right. <coughs> Round eight. Out of 15, get those coins. We got the team. <laughs> so on, on Fortnite, have you completed the, uh, the, you already said you hadn't completed the, yeah, the Fortnite um, Save the World, you haven't completed the uh, Irish quest line yet, have you? Oh. oh, I mean in the the side quests, you know, the seasonal quest to track down oh, the. I, yeah, yeah. I just have one more. I'm having a hard time trying to find a hub. It's in a suburb zone, not a city zone. For starters, yeah. But 
Yep, it says, it says city zone. Yeah, that's the reason why everybody's having an issue. I'm serious. Wow. And you're looking for the personal wet bar in a house. It's not actually a business either. So personal wet bar in a house. Yep. So you know when you go into those like uh, it's like a three bedroom, four bedroom house, and it's got a basement room. Yeah. And it's got the bar with the bottles on it. That's what they're calling a pub. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. And me and Alien and one just lucked into that on our on the last Fortnite stream we did. We're like, okay, we're not finding one. Well, we need to go to a suburb anyway to do something. And, like, we find it just by accident. Like, well, really? Okay. But I've the, been uh, to go to the suburb zone so many times. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know, I want to finish that side quest. So I was like, I keep going to a city. Yep, because it says it's usually found in uh, populated city locations. You're like, okay, cool. And it's it's not. <laughs> Thanks to Fortnite. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, just, just you know something that they could fix, probably with the next oh, update. Man, I'm a cop. Oh. But on the bright side, there's not many hiding spots. Diamond? Yeah. Oh! Not good. Diamond, save us! I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, here we go. Everybody. <laughs> oh, that works. Isn't that the only jail cell on the map, too? See, this is one of those where NPC players is like a huge handicap. Because if you were playing PC and you had the other team like that, you could have like put four people on every corner and been able to stop them. Oh. 103.94. Purdue is losing still by five points. It's or it's halftime now. That's that's why. They'll they'll get out of halftime soon enough though. And just like that, the crown changes places. Oh, and this is the cool part, guys. The, so I showed earlier the stuffed crust pizza I'm getting to eat. The, the crust and everything is cooled down. So this is like a bacon stuffed piece of cheese. It's, just, it's beautiful. Oh. oh, man, you're making me hungry. And behold, the power of bacon. <laughs> Makes everything taste better but sunny delight, apparently. According to the commercials. You know what's funny is, I don't like eating pork. Exactly. I, I have no, I have no interest in eating anything else that's pork related. But bacon. Otherwise, you will not see me. I just find a higher dose. Well, it's it's uh the texture is a little different, and it's very high sodium content meat typically. No comparison, yeah. Oh, my green gels are just going off today. I'm showing the score is just not really good. Come on. 30 seconds. We can hunt somebody down in 30 seconds. I can contribute. Maybe. Yeah, I found a blue player. There's a blue player. Oh, that's the, the wrong blue player for me to mess with. <laughs> run away. Run away. Hey, Kazudo. Nope, you sure didn't. Baby Mario took away your kill. Thank you, Baby Mario. I accept that. So that should... Ah, oh, I forgot you guys got some points. Wasn't thinking of that. It's still a six-point game. Oh, this is too close. I'm doing pretty good. It's it's definitely back and forth. It's definitely been nutty. I, I like these kind of games when they go like this. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to think Dragon Palace. My bad. Ooh, Baba Bomb Blast and Dragon Palace. Gross. I don't know. I actually like it. It gets. It's awesome for me. <laughs> I like doing them long shots. On the bright side. Oh, we're actually. Put, our, my team's spawning inside the palace. That's great. Since there's no. Uh, players except for like the three of us like human players we're not going to have that weird drift in the middle where everybody just blows everybody up why well, i said that and then all these explosions happened in the middle i got two for one let's go at least you can't like friendly fire your own teammates in this game either that would be horrible because I'd be hitting a lot of people then. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, I saw you camping there too. I was like, yep, GPS is good stuff. Oh, I just got rocked by you again. That, that's great. Wow. This is going to be one of those Kazudo carries, my goodness. The score on this is gross. That's like, oh my gosh. I have 10 points. Diamond has won. Wow. That's great. Puts me up to 113. <laughs> oh, GG, man. That was good. That was good. That was gross. Oh, you see why I like my bomb blast on Dragon Palace? <laughs> wow, that was that was amazing, man. I just I love going off the ramp and then just completely owning. It's just awesome because I save up the ten bombs and I'm just diving away. Uh oh. Oh, not Lunar Colony. Shine Thief. I'm I'm gross on Lunar Colony. I cannot guarantee myself a win. But I am right next to the shine. If you're watching my screen, I'm right next to the shine as well. Oh, I've never wanted to... Oh, everybody is. Oh my god, look at the spawn points. Oh, I got it. Oh, Diamond got it. it. Desync. Diamond got to it just right before you on my screen. like a swarm of bees. Oh my gosh. Oh, Steve! Coming for you! Oh, no, no, you don't want to. But I do! Oh, I missed the shine afterwards, though. Oh, Diamond got it. <laughs> you hit me with the boomerang. Your thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Luigi got the shine. Go, baby Luigi, go! On your key. Show you're better than baby Mario. The way it works sometimes. Baby Mario stole it. Oh! Mario, Mario. Stop Mario. being the baby Mario! Stop being the baby! Oh! 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 Somebody get that shine! Somebody get the shine! Somebody! Somebody! Somebody get the shine! I, I got a banana peel behind me too. GG! Oh! Eight seconds difference. Eight seconds difference. Oh no! 
Oh, 26 point difference. And two rounds left? Three rounds? I think so. Oh, GG. Yeah. Yeah, that's... It's impressive, guys. It really is. It's just insane. Oh, oh here comes Sai Hi. Steve Jobs. And he will probably be on your team. Hi Hi. Let's do this, man. We can still win. I believe... They call him Mr. Hi Hi. Thanks for popping in to play with us, man. Yep, he is on your team, man, for Coin Runners under yeah. Urchin Thunder Pass. All I can hear in my head right now is here comes a new challenger. Right, here we go. There <laughs> a lot of bombs, a lot of bananas, a lot of just no. There's lots of no over there, there's no coins and all the pain. Oh hunting down Steve Jobs. Hey, Kazuto. Hey, buddy. Uh, Stay away. Stay away? Aww. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll keep that one point lead we got. And I'll just stay right here. Oh! Go. Nice! <laughs> nice! Let's go! <laughs> 30 point game at the moment. Because of that coin lead for a second. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It's it's definitely back and forth still. Back and forth. Boom. Piranha. Cops and robbers. Come on. Take me renegade. Come on, game. You know you love me. Oh, you've got just as many PC players as we have this time. <laughs> oh, I know. Come on, game. You know you want to make. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, hi, hi. We got like Seattle's finest, man. Let's do this. Oh, there's high high opening up the cage. Yeah, I think the Renegades got this one. Yeah, I was at the top of the ramp waiting for somebody to try to come up it, but no one did. <laughs> Glad I wasn't there then. Ten point game now. Twenty points for a renegade win. GG guys on that. And this is is this the last round? I think this will be the last round. Oh, we've already man. done we've already done three shine thieves. It's a ten point game. Oh, man. oh. We got this high high. Oh, if not, we can come close. Go on, we got this. Coming out in the blaze of glory. What other games have we not played yet? I don't, I don't know, honestly. I'm don't trying know. to do totals in my head. I, we've already I done... really hope it's, I hope it's not Balloon Battle. I hope it's not. It would be really good if it was like Shine Thief again. 
because that means it would be really, really uh, balloon battle. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> At least you got your choice of Woohoo Town. True. That's true. At least you got your choice of Woohoo Town. I would rather have Woohoo Town. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, dude. Uh, this is a one in lifetime um, you know, question, and rather, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to work it. <laughs> and, um, that's, that's, that's something I really don't do that so I mean, well, I won't work with you and you're gonna work with me, right? We got this here. Do that. Oh, I can't yes. Oh, I was hoping that could No, that no. I, I'm used to you throwing a bomb. <laughs> I'm used to you throwing a bomb after I try to hit you with all the turtle shells, so I'm like... Yeah, we'll do this, we'll let off the gas, we'll kind of, you know, go back and forth a second. Oh, I just got hit by Diamond. <laughs> that's pretty bad. That, that's that's just usual non-team instincts kicking at that point, that's all that is. Doing pretty good so far, Kazuto. I mean, you got a four-point difference. But I don't know if it's four points is going to make it. No, unfortunately not, but that'll make us close. Yeah, I'll make you close. I think that makes it a six point game. Yep, six points. Six Look points. That. Yep. That's that's really good. Had everybody on your team scored one extra point, you would have had it. GG guys. Absolute GG. That was, that was awesome. That was pretty and good. Look, and look at that. I even got more points than everybody. Well, you know, it is the way it works. Well, guys, that is Sudden Death. And now we'll just go to one more mirror race because we still got 20 minutes, which is enough time to get one mirror track in. Went ahead and accepted any friend requests. We had none. So here we go to mirror race. No teams, normal items, easy calm, all vehicles. Change that 16 races down to a nice cool four. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have that happen again. That was... <laughs> That, that was, was a crazy night. <laughs> that was a crazy <laughs> night. So many races. It was like, oh, I think this is the last race. I think this is the last race. <laughs> race number 12 comes up. Uh, this probably is the last race. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Hi, hi. What are you doing? Oh, hi, hi's oh. having a good time. Oh, oh pirate ship. Or bone dry ruins. Diamond, the dry Koopa, gets the bone dry ruins. Interesting. <laughs> oh. Oh, unfortunately, that's considered spamming by the way it works, even though it's binary. I, I cannot race, talk, and translate binary at the same time. It just doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. I don't remember streaming on this level like at all. I think this is I think this is the first time that I actually played on this level. This is interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember. I, I think I remember skeletal piranha plants. That's that's kind of one of those things you just you know can't unsee or unremember. Oh, lightning bolt. I uh, I took it and I didn't want it. Can I return it? <laughs> Is there a customer service desk for lightning bolts? <laughs> I mean, that's a solid no, I'm told. <laughs> I'm like stuck. Uh, okay, this is definitely one of those. Oh, neat! I'm like. Not sure what I was on. Something's rib cage.
I'm driving like I'm on 200 CC for some silly reason. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing kind of the same thing. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm just hitting walls, I have no clue what my line should be. I'm like falling I'm like off. Taking my, I'm taking my drift here. Yeah, I'm actually, I've fallen off the stage like six or seven times, it's kind of silly. Like, yikes. Off the edge, it's quicksand, by the way, so that's kind of fun. How? Yeah. Like, boom, hey, it's sand! I'm, oh, it's quicksand. Okay, it's just sunk and went far, far away. Ramp, ramp, boom! Can I... That's good. I, I might manage, like, fourth. I'm, I'm looking forward to fourth. Yeah, I did. That was that was a weird course. Um, I'm not used to that course, honestly. Like, no one picks it. No one chooses it. I kind of can see why. I mean, graphically, it's interesting in the fact that it's unique, but it's it's boring unique, which is kind of bad. Like, it's just there's uh, there's places in the in the U.S. you can drive through where it has no scenery, no like anything, but like the occasional cow skull on the side of the road, and that was pretty much that level. I know what you got. You got Grumble Volcano or Rainbow Road. Oh, okay. Um, hi, hi. If it chooses Moomoo Meadows, you will be sorry. No! <laughs> I don't think he's sorry. I don't think he's sorry. Hi. <laughs> That's it. No, we're not doing this. <clears throat> Link, bring out your full power. Speaking of Link, I wonder how the Breath of the Wild Link is going to be on Smash Bros. I don't know. Uh, people will keep going, well, what do you think they're going to do to bring him in there? And there's not much you can do to really change him up. Um, I mean, I, I expect a paraglider ability, which will be really weird for him. Because Link typically doesn't have any kind of really good aerial recovery other than don't get knocked up in the air. <laughs> so if he's got the paraglider, that'll be kind of cool. Um, well, so like, when you get knocked in the air, some characters, uh, well, most of the characters, have a move that they can do, which is they're up in special attack. And it's like a rising uppercut-ish kind of move. Some characters have way better ones than others, uh, like Kirby. Kirby, when he does the up and special attack, floats a little bit. Um, Princess Zelda, uh, when they are in Zelda form and not Sheik form, does this like kind of float thing, as does Princess Peach. So he could do the same thing. I just don't know what else they would change, really. I mean, he still gets a bow and arrow. He might get elemental arrows, because that was kind of a big deal in the game. It would be kind of neat. But I don't know. I mean, there's there's so many different things that that game did. Like the food element, you'd kind of have to keep in the game too, right? Oh, speaking of Breath of the Wild, you know, Chadley beat it the other night on his stream. Yeah, I, I missed it, unfortunately. Um, I no longer have that really cool job <laughs> that I used to have. I, I, I barely get to, like, you know, what I'm, what I'm reduced to watching right now is shows that I kind of want to watch, but I don't really... I don't want to say I don't care, but I'm not as invested in the actual plot as I am for other shows. <laughs> like, I watched Monk with um, Tony Shulu, but it was good. Tuniki Mario at the last moment. Oh, wow. That, that's pretty cool. Hi, hi. hi, hi you're pulling off the right now. <laughs> oh, it's the Cow Squad. Cow Squad. Oh, we got somebody popping in. Here comes a new challenger. Is that Drew coming in, maybe? Maybe Slash? I know Slash's new controller is supposed to get in today. Oh, yep, it's Drew. Drew. Hey, Drew's in here for the last heat of the races. 
Welcome back, Drew. Welcome back, sir. Turtle Club. And speaking of shows, I only got two more, or like three more episodes left because I'm done with shows for the world. You know, I, I still haven't started watching it. I did stop watching um, Killer Bee. It was it wasn't enough to keep my interest. I just gotcha. yeah, I was wanting it to. I mean, it was kind of neat how it was like you know standard anime. Everybody has kind of special powers, and I was like, it just really doesn't jive with the world they're trying to put into it. I'll probably try it again at some point, but um, I wound up finishing The Tick on Amazon Prime. That's actually really good if you've watched the animated series or the original one, um, or the original live-action one. It's actually really well done. I, I like how they kind of kept the story, but updated it. Let's see here, what? But... Okay. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with sad animes. I mean, Cowboy Bebop is probably one of the saddest anime series ever. Um, the final episode is just so, like, gut punch, you know, just bam. Oh my gosh, this happened, why did this have to happen? So it's, um, so I'm, I'm fine with that. In, like, uh, uh, Trigun, same kind of difference, right? Trigun just has this really, you know, it was the same era. So I'm okay with that. There's there's nothing wrong with that so, as far as my book goes. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, it's like a. Well, or it has a good back and forth kind of story of that. Uh, so like a good compromise in my opinion was like K. You know, K was a great Return of Kings. Yeah. I mean, that was action, bit story, and it kind of, you know, interwove it, or like Full Metal Alchemist. That was an action anime, but the plot was so just involved. Though, uh, on that vein, you know, I did see the live action Full Metal Alchemist for about 20 minutes. And I was like, I, uh, I like it, it's good, but I'm one of those guys that once the story is just there, and I know the story, there's not really a reason for me to keep watching. I'm not one of those people that sit down and watch the same thing over and over again, usually. Hoenn is just another form of lightning. <laughs> oh. Who said that? A diamond. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Moo Moo Meadows again. What? Oh. And I don't know who chose it. I wasn't paying attention. It was Slash. Or not, oh my. It was High High, probably. It was High High. <laughs> I hire. Well, really need to stop this. As much as I hate this course, I will admit I'm pretty good at it. You're the oh, oh, that can Drew is actually rocking out with that Bowser pretty awesome. I don't know what that little pink car is, but it's definitely better than my little ITV I got. cat car, I might have to take a look at that. I probably can't handle it, but... Katasaki. Yeah. I, I don't know if I even heard what you said. I think I talked over you, so you might be okay. Um, but yeah, uh... Let's see here. I think it might actually... Katasaki might be one of the names of the gods on uh, Okami. Oh. Now that I think about it, because they all end in Saki. That I've noticed. Moo Moo Meadows. Oh, 
You would be home if you lived here. It just seems like one of those places. Uh oh. Red shell. Why do they do that thing? Oh, I think Diamond's got us beat at this one, guys. I'll be happy getting in the fifth. Boom! Yeah, me on the play school mobile. We got fifth place. Oh, and that ties me and Diamond. oh, and I think that was the last race too. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that might have actually. Yeah. I think that might have got me in the third, maybe. Oh, I got a nice try. I get I get fourth because you guys share first and there's no second. Oh, Purdue's losing by nine now. Oh, well, Turtle Club, GG guys. This was absolute fun. Drew, thank you for picking it. I always like to play it. Uh, I'm glad you were able to sneak in and play the last race set with us. That was way cool and way fun. Um, Alienated one who modded earlier today. Thank you for doing that before you you know had to sleep because he's got work tomorrow. Uh, Sally and Drew for being our sponsors who came in today. You guys are awesome. Guys, I want to point out that next Free For All Friday may or may not occur. Um, hope you can join next time. Me too, Vulcan. Me too. Uh, I got responsibilities next Friday morning. So that means no Freedom Friday. That means no Free For All Friday, probably. Um, and potentially no Mag vs. Wild that Friday morning as well. Uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. But we'll see. We never know. But guys, in another three hours, there will be a Mag vs. Wild. In another eight hours, there will be Majora's Morning Muffin. So, yeah, that's just the way it goes, Princesses. So, guys, absolutely have a, a good time with you guys. I'm going to go have a, a, a good little nap for a second. Um, have some time with Digrat as well. You guys have a good evening, good night, good morning. Whatever you guys are about to do, this is Mag Synchro saying have a good one, and thanks for watching Turtle Club.